<laughs> I'll wait for everyone to see me. Okay. Okay, can you guys see me yet? Hey guys, I'm not sure if you guys can see me yet. Let me know. I've literally got my headphones in. Can you guys see me? Oh my God, I'm literally so flipping blind. Hey, can you guys see me? Mm, 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 mm. What is going on? I'm literally just waiting for your comments to load. Hey everyone, hi. I feel like I've done a sip and slate for so long. Oh my God, hey Bev. We haven't had a sip and slate for so, so long. Hey Bev, hey Kim, hey Alicia. We can see you, hey buddy. Hey everyone, what's everyone drinking? Let me know. Sorry, I just had a complete madness. So basically, uh, well, so I'll show you what we're drinking tonight. So we're dr <laughs> so my fancy darling, we're drinking the Moe. But um, imagine I popped it and it leaked all over my brand new phone. So I'm really not like happy about that. But oh, child, this nose contour looks a bit mad. I'm not gonna lie. Let me try and blend it in. Sorry, these cameras are literally not forgiven. And someone said, "Hey everyone, Gary is beating us at that period." Hey, Miss Royale. Hey. Hey everyone, hey Miss Carolina, hey Pooh, hey June, hey Akeem, thank you so much. I've been doing this thing on Instagram called um, 12 Days of Slay, so I've been doing different looks for it. Hey, hey babes, hey Ashley, hey Tamika, thank you so much guys. I feel like I haven't done a sip and slay for ages, I'll wait for a few more people to come, but it's been ages. Gary Megan, Passion Fruit, ooh, okay, let me pour this. I haven't been live for so long guys, I'm so sorry. Let me just, I had to put ice in there. Hold on, how do you do this? I think you have to do it to the side, I think. I'm not too sure. Let me know how everyone is. Has everyone done their Christmas shopping yet? Because, guys, let me guys know if you're enjoying the vlog, because it has been a madness. Hold on. Cheers, guys. Cheers to sip and slay. <laughs> Hold on, let me see what you guys say. You look fab. Thank you. Love the holiday look. Thank you so much. Hey, Jennifer. Thank you so much. I used, I can't remember whose palette I used, but I used some Morphe palette anyway. Huh. So good. Oh, thank you so much, Lauren. Thank you. Don't forget, yeah, please, guys, before the chat starts, please like the video. This will help me do so well. And obviously, after, if you want to comment down below, I'm not sure if you can comment while you're on the live, but it will help me so much. So the, this stream yard is so slow. Like all your comments are coming through really slow. Thank you so much, Sammy. Hey, we, hey, oh my God, I was shopping. I tried to shop today, but it was too much, too much for my madness. Cheers, Maria. I'm living for this vlog, miss. Thank you, it's so hard, so hard. But we're gonna do it. I'm gonna try and do it as much as I can, but if there's one day I can't do it, listen, I can't come and kill myself but again. Luba, <laughs> thank you. Hey, babes. Okay. Should we begin? I'm still waiting for people to come in, so let me know if I should begin. Let me know. Remember to like the video. Thank you so much, Fair. Hey, everyone looks so beautiful. Like, I feel like, child, is, by the way, is everyone still in lockdown? Because we're not in lockdown. Well, we've come out of lockdown, so let me know if you, you guys are still in lockdown. You look so cute. You, you are, you guys, my hair isn't done, so it needs to be, needs to be, a, it needs to be a justice. That's why I've got my trusty fedora. Do you guys, hold on. Do you guys like the Christmas card again? Hold on. Do you love it? Do you love? I thought I'd be like in the Christmas spirit. You just get in touch with Auntie Jenny. Oh, huh? Loving the hat at the moment too. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jennifer. We're out of lockdown, period. Love Jersey. Thank you. Thank you so much. What's the lippy? The lipstick is before we get okay, we're gonna begin. This is Milani. This was the um, what's that group called again? Salt and Pepper collab, and this is in the um, shade Shoop. So, okay, we're gonna be <laughs> we're gonna begin. We're gonna begin. Okay, okay, I, I was literally trying to like talk through all like go through the news and look at the, There isn't really much pop, there are still popping up the news, but you know how like when we're not in a lockdown, it's always like constant tea. So, let's begin anyway. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay. So what's the first one? <laughs> okay, so the first one, I'm not sure if you guys know this guy. Like, I didn't really know. I know of him because my friend, he just speaks about him, but I know who, who he is now because he used to be called Little Herbo. So, okay, this guy called G Herbo has been recently been arrested with this guy called Casanova for doing uh, fraud that, like, you know, getting private jets, spent get, doing lavish trips to Jamaica, buying designer items. Do you guys know who this person is? Do you know who he is? 
Oh, hold on. Hey, do you know who um, G Herbo is? So he's got a baby with um, Ari, the one that goes out with money bag, yo. Do you guys know? Gary look proper stunned. Thank you so much, Bev. Oh my God, you make my head big. Shoops, like, <laughs> do you guys know who I mean? His name is um, G Herbo, who's doing bear fraud. Like he's currently a rusty, but he's a rapper. So the comments are taking so long to load. He, oh, no one knows who he is. No, so anyway, yeah, he's been done for fraud anyway, but he's, he dates Fabulous, the rapper, Emily's daughter called, I'm not sure, I think her name is Tyena or something, but he dates her. Yeah, please thumbs up. Oh, well, I don't think anyone knows who he is anyway. Drop me from the comments, which, hey, Emmy, hey, girl. Oh my God, you look so beautiful in your Abby. I have no idea, but I'm laughing at this one. <laughs> he's a Chicago time rapper. Okay, he's, um, I don't, uh, I don't know any of his songs, God forgive me, I don't know any of his songs, but he dates Fabulous's w girlfriend, Emily B, that's her daughter, but I don't know, child, he can't rap anyway. Hey, hey, Keisha, hey, girl. But yeah, um, I think I heard about, yeah, it was all over, it's been all over the block, it's quite big because um, they've been doing fraud for like, for, allegedly, I don't want to get sued, they've been doing fraud for like four years, but I don't think anyone knows who, never heard of this rapper. Let's move on because, child, if you guys haven't heard of him, okay, so this, you guys must have heard of this next story. This story is mad. So when I first heard about it, I still on the shade room. I was just like, wait, what? And I said, Wendy speak about it. Then I was like, huh? Oh, the Waleda, I feel like that's not a press on your bones. Oh, thank you so much, Jennifer. The Waleda's quite thick, so definitely use a P-sized amount. So, okay, guys, please tell me you heard about the... <laughs> you heard about the loss of Pippin tea. Oh, guys, first of all, I didn't realise, obviously we're not ageist, but I didn't realise loss of Pippin is like, is she 47, 45? And she's chilling with 24-year-old men. Well, he's actually married. He's got a child. Well, a newborn baby. I think like six or seven months. So Larsa Pippin was spotted with this guy who's got like a 60 million contract, basketball player contract. And they're, well, they got caught cheating, basically. Mad. You guys must have heard about this. Thank you, babes. <laughs> I thought it was only Casanova. I didn't know G Herbal was involved. Yeah, babe, he was involved too. It's crazy. Mad, mad, mad. Was when scam. Listen, all, all your faves are scammers. I'm just joking, but you know what? When things like look too good to be true, it's normally like fraud. You know, scamming, credit card details, everything. Hey everyone, for just joining. Hey everyone. So we're basically talking about loss of Pippin. <laughs> just heard and sort of holding hands with the whole chest out. So yeah, there were. <laughs> So yeah, Larsa for me, Larsa, I just feel like in the last few months, Larsa has been doing so much. First of all, it's the whole Kardashian thing, where she said that she was dating Tristan before Chloe, and now she's chilling with someone who is four years younger than her son, and he's got, he just, he just had a baby with his girlfriend. It's crazy. Yeah, listen, she likes him young. L L oh, it's a shame that Larsa is, <laughs> I didn't realise Larsa, she looks good though, but obviously she's had, you know, a lot of something said and done. Lassa Hope. <laughs> Lassa is 46. I couldn't believe she looks good for her age, but sis, don't go for the young ones. You need those trust fund people. Last thing is to sit down and go go down somewhere and take care of her kids, especially people. Listen, listen, this is what I'm saying though. Lassa needs to the, the weird thing is, yeah, Lassa is still married to Scotty Pippin, which is mad. Yes, and then rich people don't have no... Larsa does too much. Wait, who was scamming? Oh, so um, G Herbo and Casanova. So G Herbo is a rapper, but he was scamming. He's been scamming for four years. Private jets, trip to Jamaica. Mad, mad, mad. But he just handed himself into prison. She's trying her best to stay... Oh, I know. I feel sorry for Larsa because I feel like she tries to embody the whole Kardashian look. But I just feel like for her, though, she's already rich. She's already got money. She's already got beautiful kids. Sometimes just count your blessings and leave. You know what I mean? Hey, Plastics. Hey, Sherry, girl. Round of applause for Lassa. He's 24. True say, though. And, guys, he just signed a 60 million NBA contract. Lassa doesn't need the money, but at the same time, Lassa. <laughs> True say, though. I was just like, Lassa, that is a good one. And he's, mm, he's not cute, though. She's a mess child. Lassa has, you said, imagine being Lassa Pippin. So she's definitely, like, a multi-millionaire. She's definitely, like, on that kind of scale. But, like, she's just bored. I feel like when you have so much money, you know, you've got your kids, your, your husband probably doesn't want to be with you anymore. It's like, what else do I do? But, you know, ho. <laughs> just love Listen, Lasta has gone buck wild. Like, hold on. Just hold on. Does anyone remember when Lasta was dating Future? Please tell me you remember that. Lasta was dating. Hold on. Her and Future are proper on private jet. So, you know, 
when Halloween is a skill, the Kardashians dropped us. Listen, no one even speaks of her even anymore. Bev, she's 46. She looks amazing, but obviously, you know, she's had a little, you know. Yeah, she's still married. So um, apparently they don't want to get they don't want to get divorced because I feel like it's something to do with like businesses and like, you know, um, spousal support. So I feel like it helps them. Be- you know, some people are just better being off married than being divorced because it's just too much work. Last is nearly <laughs> Last is nearly at retirement age. She'll be looking for it. To- Please, Fiona, Fiona, you are going to kill me. Bev, you look way younger than last that. Let's not lie. When the black don't crack, we don't crack, you know? Hey, guys. Hey, Nana. Exactly. She's doing. She's just doing too much. You know what? If I was last that, I would just be... I, I would be traveling... Hold on. Let me put my fan on. I'll be traveling the world. I, I, I haven't got time for young boys. I just haven't got... You, you know what I mean? Why is last still married to Scott? I know. I feel like it's an open marriage because, you know, Scott, you know, Scotty isn't innocent in this. You know what I mean? Sounds like... A, mm, t- I feel like... She wants to be that kind of Kardashian era, but she, I wouldn't say she's too old, but she's lived her life. She married she, she married Scotty Pippen sis. You done well. And ta- listen, the entanglement is proper mad. Like, like did you not hear about how Scotty Pippen was a child? Apparently, Scotty Pippen was allegedly messing with the women. He's paid loads of people off out now. Future is <laughs> well, you know, future dating that girl, Dessa Dior. If you guys guys know who she is, she's basically Jada, waiters, you know, little babies, baby mothers, baby, best friends. But I like just um, Destio. So basically, guys, Lars' Lassa, son said, what did he say? He tweeted saying, um, I don't care what other people do, just know I'm good. Listen, if Lassa was my mom, best believe she's getting backed the fuck up, period. I love you too, Vista. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, hey, Kelsey. Kelsey's in the house. Oh my God, Kelsey, how are you? <laughs> so we're just doing a sip and slay. Oh my God, I felt like I was spoken to you. You know what? Actually, I'm sure I joined like a live of yours. How are you, babe? Guys, Kelsey is in the house. Hey, Kim. Gary, you look freaking stunning. Thank you so much. But I can't what Morphe palette this is. I think it might be, I don't want to say it's Morphe palette is, but it was actually a good palette. <laughs> it's cheaper to keep it exactly. Cheap to keep her. Hi, L'Oreal. Oh my God, what a beautiful name. Hold on, do you pronounce it L'Oreal? What a beautiful name. Um, Larson lived more half up. <laughs> do not kill me. I, oh, it's just a shame. Now, future, it's for the stewards. Hey, kid. Some of these people with a lot of money want to keep life done, I guess. Avoid. Yeah, that's the thing. I guess when you're so rich, I think it's like the guy that owns Amazon. Like, he didn't want to divorce his wife, but she wanted to divorce. And that was one of the that was one of the highest profile divorces in the world because imagine getting 900 million from a divorce, but she was with him before Amazon. And obviously that Amazon coin is long. I love the eyes tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> I would say who the palette's by, but you guys would drag me. You guys would proper drag me, but the, the palette was just sitting there. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to use the palette. <laughs> hey, Hannah. Morphe. Yeah, it's a Morphe palette. It's a collaboration with someone. <laughs> But I just sat with the palette and it was just there. And I was like, you know what? And I was literally, I had it, I had an image and I was trying to follow the image and the colour in the palette had the colours. Future is Natty Dips, everybody. How is it? Who child? Oh. Um, hold on, let me go into your comments. Happy freaking Friday. T- are you guys tardy for the party? Gabby, you know that son is chatting for the media but behind closed doors. Listen, that was my mom. If that was my mom, listen, I'll have to sit her down and you know, you know how you don't talk to your mom in that kind of way. Sometimes you have to sit your mom down if she was last, of course, and tell her what is happening, you know. Um, you seem like some oh thank you so much, Shakira. And what did I miss? Did Gary drop the tea and I look? <laughs> so you only missed G Herbo, the fraud situation, and um um Larsa Pippins and thing. You look, you look 10 times better than Lassa. Bev looks amazing. Gary, what's popping up? Hey, Corey. How are you? Nikita J- <laughs> Correct. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm wearing that palette. Obviously, I just had it, but, you know, we're not chat. No, I would never do. Oh, speak. Hold on. I was actually, oh, I can't even be asked to speak about that person. Oprah, is that the big <laughs> Shout anyway, thank you. It's just the colors anyway. We're not going to speak about whose palette it is, but even though it is hers, it's a cute palette. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so um, hold on. <laughs> no, guys, I would never, ever, ever. Sorry, I got this to come on, teeth. 
ever wear a JSC palette. Oh, what well, lipstick is hitting differently? Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, guys. The block mess has been a struggle, but I'm I'm gonna keep it in there until I can do it. Kim definitely was a um persuasion. Okay, so we need to speak about. Have you guys heard the Mariah Carey Christmas special with Ariana Grande and Jennifer Hudson? Well, a lot of people are saying Mariah Carey were backup dancers, but I think it's really good to hear Mariah Carey and Ariana Grande in the same track, even though they sound similar. For me, Mariah Mariah Carey is always gonna have my heart. Like I do not care. Hold on. Let me tell you guys to say, hey Gary, been doing vlog with. Um, thank you, sweet. All these young people though, make me thought, don't be silly. Bite your tongue. Could never, I could never wear that kind of palette ever. I've been sent his palettes before by um, you know, like you know, like beauty bear and stuff, but I've literally just given them away or thrown them in the bin. Um, hold on, you look oh, thank you so much. Thank you. But um, yeah, do you guys like the new Mariah song? The comments are loading really low slow today for some reason. Let me top up my little my way. I literally got this sent today. Okay, what you guys say? Fire, thank you. Why are the comment? The comments are moving so mad on StreamYard. Maybe it's my internet connection. Not the internet connection. Can you guys still see? Oh, I can see your comments now. I'm really enjoying the vlogs. Thank you so much, Terry. Ari does the Ari did deserve the club. I'm not gonna lie, Ari has been killing it. Even though I don't really like her new album, I like some songs, but she's been killing it. I'm here for Mariah and Ariana. I am here for it. I feel like they should have added like they should have had like a whole a female lineup. They should have had Ariana. Mary, um, Jennifer, um, maybe not J-Lo, no, not J-Lo. Um, they should have just had a few people, they should have made it, it's Nubian Queen. <laughs> not the Nubian Queen. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God, sorry. <coughs> not Corona. Oh my God, you guys are kidding me, I can't cope. Oh, I watched the video with JH, all right, when M MC hit the note, listen, one thing Mariah's gonna do, Mariah was like, I'm gonna outsing all you hoes, and that's what she did. Hold on. Put it in the thing, Gavin. Love you even more. Oh, child. God, I have that negativity in my house. That's all, period. The harmonies were amazing. JLo's probably punching the air right now. I'm not sure what's going on. We're gonna, obviously, we're gonna speak about JLo for cupping and dropping. You guys know what we're gonna speak about. But I feel like, did you guys see JLo's um, American um, Music Awards performance? Obviously, everyone was saying it was like um, Beyonce's. But what do you guys think? I haven't heard it yet, but it's great for her. And I'm very great for her because Mariah doesn't collaborate with many people at all. Mariah Carey had to listen. Just when people are asking Mariah to do a versus, Mariah could Mariah Mariah's hits are just too long. Like she could only battle Whitney. Mariah doesn't. <laughs> I love Mariah and Ariana's voices together. Best up there. I always wanted to collab between those two and Whitney. Yeah, so I miss Whitney so much. Like literally miss her. I like the way Mariah, yes, the, the, their voices are similar, but just different in tone, you know, like very, very different. Ari Mariah, oh my God, Ari Mariah Whitney would be, uh, that again, Lit Cardiff would be actually incredible, like insane. We're discussing JLo, she gets, <laughs> I'm not sure what it is about JLo, like I feel like in the last few months, she's been doing things to like, not imitate people but she's been doing like little things that have been like questionable but even though i love j-lo i've told you about the time i met j-lo right have i told you guys the time i met j-lo she hugged me i've told you this story i must have told you the story how i met j-lo i've definitely told you guys this story but j-lo in person guys is so sweet i cannot even lie sage um but what color is the, in the new girl i need the perfect chocolate nude oh sorry guys um, the, um it's milani and it's a um sort of pepper collaboration and it's in the shade um shoop 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 Shoo, do J Lo oh, stole, oh, she stole it. My bride can't take Celine Dion. True, true. They're very different. <laughs> They're very different. No, Beb. Very different. Celine is Celine is Celine is just that girl. Celine is in a league of her own. You know what I mean? They're very different. Um, Nubia Queen. <laughs> Ariana is her. So Ariana is Whitney was. Listen, the Whitney was Queen. No, tell us. Have I told you? Okay, guys, please don't come for me. But how many folks? Beyonce have stopped. June. No Beyonce slander in this sip and slay will be tolerated. I don't have to block anyone. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Um, the baby full grown hair. Oh, child, not the baby grow. This is the thing we you know, it's the baby, it's the baby hairs for me, sis. Those are not baby hairs because she's 50. <laughs> um, did you see? Yeah, we're gonna speak about this and copping or dropping, but oh, I'm so disappointed. I'm not disappointed, but it's just it's it's the packaging for me, but we'll speak about it. 
there's something so there's something a bit sus. I do love JLo though. Girls performance dancer, not a singer, true. Love Celine as well. Celine is just that bitch. Um na 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 na. You you have not told us I wanna know about J okay, so guys, shall I tell you the story? Hold on. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the story. Okay, so we okay, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna talk tell you the story for a while. Okay, so last year when I got my teeth first done, I was in Turkey and I was there for about maybe 10 days, and then I get a like a message from this agency saying, Hey Gary, um um the hustler premiere is coming up. Would you like to go to the premiere? And I was like, Oh, I'm actually in Turkey at the moment, so um I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it back into London. And they were like, Oh, it's actually not in London, it's in Canada. And I was like, um, I'm actually in Turkey, so once the premiere, they were like, oh, it's tomorrow. But luckily my teeth had already been done. And um, what I'd done was I literally flew back to London, got to London at 3 a.m., packed my bags and literally went back to the airport and then went straight on a plane to um, Canada. And I'm not I'm not Canadian, so I didn't know what the, it was basically for a film festival called um, TIFF. And I didn't know what it was until I was on the plane. I was sat next to a really nice woman. And I said, oh, I'm going to this film festival called TIFF. And then she was like, oh my God, it's one of the most biggest film festivals ever. Yeah. So anyway, so the comments aren't loading, are they loading? Um, so the comments are really slow today. And um, so anyway, I got to Canada, really, really sweet. And um, they put me in this hotel, I what hotel it was, but the hotel was insane. Like guys, the hotel was stunning. And as I was um, checking in, um, Isa Fisher was in front of me with, um, what's her name? What's her husband's name again? Ali G, um, Sasha Barton, Karen. Um, um um they were in front of me there were so many celebs in the hotel it was crazy but anyway i didn't realize um sorry look at the comments i didn't realize the extent the comments are so slow so i didn't realize the extent of the film festival so um so anyway um i, I got to chill in canada for a while I went to the shopping center but there was a girl that was supposed to come with me but she couldn't come because she was sick so they sent someone else to come with me and um imagine when we got to this premiere guys this was a proper premiere like I'd never been to a premiere this big in my life, yeah. So someone said, yeah, the Toronto, yeah, I didn't know what it was. So when we get there, guys, it was a huge red, guys, the carpet was, so anyway, we were driving, because we were running late, we was in this massive SUV, and there was a massive SUV in front of us, and so when the car got out, it was actually J-Lo and A-Rod, guys, I've never heard people scream like this in my, so the screams were so loud, yeah, it sounded like someone was like, getting like killed that's, that's how loud the screams were but your yeah, jenna was in front of us and then we had to walk down the carpet and then we got to see the um film hustlers before so hustlers was is such a good film it kind of longs out in the end but anyway we got to go to the after party and and the girl that i was with she was a bit tired so imagine she didn't want to go to the after party and i didn't have i didn't know anyone so i was like i can't miss out on this after party like the after, hold on why can i not see anyone's comments i can't see comments sorry so I can't see comments. So anyway, yeah, um, and um, so anyway, the girls didn't want to come with me. So um, I went into this after party alone, but luckily my friend was in Canada. So I was like, so uh, the PR girl was like, if you can get your friend down to this um, event before JLo gets here, he can come in. So I, uh, so I bring my friend and then my friend comes and then JLo comes as he arrives. So much paparazzi. So when JLo ever enters a venue, no one else is allowed to like go into the venue. It's just like a first security thing. Guys, the party was amazing. It was sponsored by Nobu. Um, I met JLo, spoke to her, hugged her. It was just crazy. It was great, great guys. She's so sweet, beautiful, really small, like not mm, tiny, but yeah, that's the story. But it was amazing. It was so good. It was Cardi B in Hustlers? Yeah, Cardi B was in there, but her role was quite small. She was meant to have a bigger role, but because she was filming an album, she couldn't dedicate herself to the role. So it was Cardi B, Lizzo. Um, what's that girl? What's that? What's that girl called again? Um, Kiki Palmer. It was such a good film. I need to see the hostess movie. It's good. It's on Amazon Prime. Um, it starts off the ending. It's a bit dry, but <laughs> but um, it's a really really good film. But it was such a surreal experience, guys. And uh, one day you should write a book, Gary. I definitely. You should write a book, Garrett. I definitely um, buy you sound like you've had living your best life. Guys, Canada was crazy. So after, me and my friend, after the after party, went to these, we went to, we went to about 10 clubs after this after party. Guys, I was, guys, it was mad. I should do a story time on this, actually, because that Canada situation was mad, 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 mad. I've got a mad, oh, guys, it was actually insane. Actually insane. I've managed to stay up to watch, um, a, oh, hello, Coco, Melon. I want I want to see the movie now, even though I saw the documentary on the real people. So yeah, JLo actually got sued. 
um, but she won the court case because the woman thought it was about her. But <sighs> that's another story for another time. But let's move on. The comments are so slow today on um, StreamYard, guys. So sorry if I'm a bit delayed seeing your comments. I'm not sure why they're so delayed. You should come to Vancouver. Oh my God, I want to come to Vancouver so much. When I got my teeth done last year, I actually met someone that was from Vancouver. And she was like, oh my God, you need to come to Vancouver. So I've actually got family in Toronto um, and Vancouver, actually. So I should actually come to um, Vancouver. But I'm definitely going to do a story time because, guys, that party was crazy. Crazy. Like, guys, Kiki is so much fun. <clears throat> but I can't say anything about <laughs> <clears throat> why am i late hi gary hi christian sorry <clears throat> so i'm speaking so much hold on mm -mm 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 -mm. hello to anyone joining you haven't missed much though okay so this story is a bit crazy 10 clubs i've been crawling but guys it was crazy are you gonna be discussing summer walker a pregnancy yes i'll discuss that but i didn't think okay let's discuss that okay so let's discuss Young Miami, do you guys know who, you guys must know who Young Miami is. So Young Miami is part of the City Girls. She's been there. She obviously I'm not sure she was married to him, but she had a baby for Southside. You know, so Southside is a really big producer. So whenever you hear like a rap song and it goes Southside on the track, yeah, it's basically Southside. He's huge. So basically, Southside was caught on video kissing a girl in the club. Listen, that is mad. It's so mad. Do you like? Hold on. I'm trying to see. Let me plug my oh, oh. One sec. I need to plug my fan in. Hold on. Oh, Gary, if you're not adding this topic, Patricia Bright's giveaway, make make them goodies. Um, uh, make them goodies. I, uh, I need them meow. I, I, I'll speak about it. Please like the video, guys. So, guys, do you guys know who um South South on the track is? And Young Miami. You must know who Young Miami is, no? So I'm just plugging this fan in because I am boiling. So anyway, Young Miami is so pretty, so is JT. So anyway, um, yeah, Southside was obviously I think he cheated on her first, allegedly. But he obviously was kissing. First of all, who kisses someone in the club during a corona stage? Like, listen, sorry. First of all, guys, hold on. I they are broken up, but I think they were getting back together. Yes, yes, yes. I know. And then we have a pandemic. Who kisses someone in the club? But first of all, guys, can someone please tell me? I'm I don't live in the US. How is Atlanta still open? The strip clubs are open, the restaurants are open, the clubs are open, people are going to shoot sh um, hookah, hookah bars, people are, it's just, I, I don't know how Atlanta isn't in a lockdown, but like, how are the cases not risen? It doesn't make any sense. Oh, so um, he dates your Miami, he's a producer, um, he's not, he's known more in the rap industry, I second that, I second that story time as well. Whenever I hear Southside, by the sun, I was working place my head. <laughs> I didn't know he cheated. Yeah, I know. But the thing is, though, he's so sexy. I'm not gonna lie. He's so good looking. So he kind of looks like the bad boy type, you know. I just feel like, why are people going to the club? And also, people are kissing in the club during a pandemic, swapping spit. Do you not think that's mad? Listen, not me. I can't be killing over for next Tom and Harry and whatever. What does Travis the rapper that all cheat? Gary, how's your stuck-up neighbor? Oh, they're still stuck up there, but honestly. Um, I ran into them again at the lift, and they're so weird. Um, they, they, you know, it's just so weird. Um, I know Southside because it's working a little bit. Yeah, Southside is... <laughs> Kim, I spoke about the G Herbo thing, but yeah, Southside is a huge... Like, Southside is a... He's, like, one of the biggest producers in the game. And the worst thing of the HQ, of the CDC... <laughs> A people who she's got pregnant belongs on the track that said, sorry, okay, we need to speak about Summer Walker. Everything is open, it's supposed to, everything is open, but supposed to be outside. Oh, they have a cure. Listen, no one that seems to be catching cases. Southside and her are forever breaking up and getting back together. He was calling her a dog and everything on his life. Oh, what? That's crazy. Clubs are open. Like, clubs are open in Atlanta, because I think they're based in Atlanta, I think. Um. It's the person running up. If it's, it's the person running the city who shuts down. Oh yes, because the city have mayors and stuff, don't they? Um, but they broke up. Though they, I think they're getting back together. Hold on, who's this? Wait, what? It's your friend Shade. Hold on, I did not know Atlanta was open to us. What's my best? Yeah, Atlanta is proper open. Who? Hold on, who is that? Who is that? It's your friend Shade. The baby is stunning. 
Clubs are open, that's mad. The vaccine is great news, but prevention is better than a cure. Yeah, so basically, I know there's a vaccine that's getting released next week or next next year. I just feel like, I know there's a vaccine, but you're putting everyone at risk. It's a bit crazy. Um, hold on, the ham rub, we know. <laughs> Gary, they want to make live in this. <laughs> Why imagine a baby summer getting scared of Southside Pet if every time you fix the rub? Don't kill me. <laughs> Atlanta is open, Brew Housewives can film. Oh, yes. So, guys, okay, let's speak about Summer Walker. So, you guys know, I haven't spoken about this in Stephen Slay because it happened during what well, I haven't done it. So, um, so, obviously, Summer Walker is pregnant, bro. London on the track. So, obviously, uh, you guys are getting confused. So, there's South Side on the track and there's London on the track. London on the track is a different person, but obviously, there's South. Girl, child, it's too confusing. They're both sides. So, basically. Oh. <laughs> So anyway, Summer Walker's pregnant, which <clears throat> I'm not sure why Summer Walker got pregnant for him. I think he's got a whole range of kids already, but they keep breaking up, getting back together. Child, I am tired. Hold on. What's someone saying? Not, not are you kissing the pandemic. The way to Atlanta and Houston um, don't have the ni- COVID-19, they do what they want. Meanwhile, the major Black cities, the Blacks are dying the most. It's so true, Kim. Um, apologies. Oh, what would you, I didn't, I, sorry, I did get what you were saying. So I, so, sorry, I only saw a six sign because my comments are slow. So I wasn't sure what you meant. It's okay though. If you didn't mean any harm, sorry. Gary, imagine Boris taking COVID vaccine. Fiona, I heard about this on Twitter. Like, is this true? Because I was saying, imagine, listen, he's taking a COVID vaccine live on TV. They could be giving him the good stuff. Next thing you know, I'm having a COVID vaccine and I'm collapsing on the road, dying in 2.5 seconds. So I'm not sure about two. Listen, I, I'm just not sure. Summer is, a, Summer is so talented. Like a lot of my friends went to go and see her when she came to London, but apparently the stage presence is a bit, because you know how she's got um really bad anxiety, which is a real thing, but I just feel like she's so talented. I really feel bad for her too. It's actually so crazy. I just feel like, I don't know, like she's she's, she's so young. She's got like so much potential, but pregnancy will obviously won't stop her. She should have got a, the relationship was not stable. It's not on the track, moms. Um, I'm not sure, but but listen to this, guys. London on the tracks, baby's mom, the other one said, Summer Walker's baby's gonna, Summer Walker's baby's gonna have a big head. And like, hold on, she said, Summer Walker's baby's gonna have a big head just like my son or whatever, allegedly, but she did say it. So crazy. I don't know what's someone saying? It's a blasting baby. Listen, it's a ba- blasting baby moms and being their position for me, period. London has a baseball team of kids and <laughs> Don't kill me. <clears throat> it's quite depressing. I, I, I just don't trust the vaccine either. Like, what's, where is it? Hold on. How is this vaccine being made so quickly? And what does it do? What are the side effects? What are the ingredients? I need to know. Mm. Bush, Obama, Clinton. I've taken the vaccine on TV, then Ivanka. But they need to take it also. I can imagine not injecting with vitamin C. Listen, they're going to inject him with a flipping um, immune booster, however you say. You know, those drips. Like, what the hell? I already don't trust Boris even taking it live on TV. Listen, no one taking it live. Even if Will Smith took it, even if Nicki Minaj took it live on TV, it would not convince. <laughs> Listen, everyone's body's different. My body reacts differently to the girl next door. I don't care who. Listen. Janet Jackson could take the vaccine live on TV. I'm not, I'm not taking anything live. I'm not taking no vaccine until you take peanut and I've seen you in eight months. I just joined Honey That I Look. Hey, Beauty by Tam. Thank you so much, babe. Thank you. Thank you for joining also. Um, I heard that as well. I'm not rushing to get that. I feel like Summer is still growing into herself, but it's, oh, I know it's really bad, but it's... <laughs> It's still the nose job for me. It's uh, actually I've, I've kind of I've kind of gotten used to the nose job, but I just feel like she really need to do her nose, even though I don't have a problem with it. But it was just that imagine having all that money and the nose child. But anyway, <laughs> my mom told me that free president will take it a little time. I'm with Gary. Get the good stuff. Listen, the president. You you think the presidents are gonna get the the, the presidents are gonna get the most amazing vaccine the world can produce crazy they want to pay people listen i remember when covid first started and one of my friends was saying that um that there was this like special area in the uk where they would inject you with covid and they would try they would pay you three thousand pounds to um, get the covid um, virus listen i would rather 
listen, no one's paying me three thousand pounds to take to get any virus. Keep your money and get out my face. <laughs> Apparently, because the volunteers will make faster than normal. <laughs> listen, I'm not sure he's volunteer. They're probably paying people to. Be yeah, the listen, it's too much. <clears throat> Her body, though. Ooh, child. Um, oh, I would, I would have back to before. Um, someone will keep getting pregnant by London is karma. Listen, such karma. I'm not. This is the Boris bloody crook. Hold on, guys. So I, I know you guys. Some of you guys don't live in London, but do you not think this is mad? So basically, London. We currently have um <clears throat> this thing. So we can't travel to the US because um of the high rates. So um um we can only travel to certain places. And if you travel to a certain place and come back to the UK, you have to do this thing where you have to isolate. So imagine now this is this is break in the clause that if you are a business person i.e. rich and need to travel for business, you can travel anywhere in the world and not have to self-isolate. But how does that make any sense? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. So I missed the comments. <clears throat> oh, child. That was... <laughs> you guys are making me get a cough. <laughs> I'm not having neither is my son. I'll find the vaccine for COVID. It's like, how can you find the cure for COVID, but you can't find a cure for child? Anyway, um, can you imagine if they've gotten the regular stuff? I wouldn't want the person listen. Same, you understand? Summer shit is always so <laughs> I've noticed that too. Um, Gary, they've also introduced a two hundred and ten k payment for those who have severe adverse reactions to the vaccine. A two hundred and ten k payment for something that can't be reversed. <sighs> a two hundred and ten k payment, but my lungs are damaged and I can hardly breathe. Keep your damn money. That is mad madness. It's all money motivated. What the hell? Hey, Jara. Thank you for joining, babe. Hope you had a happy birthday. I come to find out his kids is only one, so there has to be a crossover. <gasps> what? The death. Actually, no one. No, because she. She. I think she's due next year. I think. Can you imagine paying to have your body done and having that big ass? <laughs> Just like London, the track isn't cute though, but I do think he's super talented. That's one thing I would say. Um, seems like business people are immune. The thing is, how can business people be immune? It sounds like it's a money thing to me. Um, the R rate is slower than some, so we can't. <laughs> Rich people can afford to pay whenever the fines listen. That's the whole thing as well. Okay, so let's move on because I've still got a lot of topics to speak about. Um, Okay, so guys, will we, will, will we be watching the Wendy Williams biopic on um, Lifetime? I don't have Lifetime, but I'm sure Mr. World Premier will provide it for me. So guys, I, I, was, I watched it today, the trailer, and Wendy's speaking about the drugs, the cocaine addiction, allegedly. Her husband getting, um, I think the husband's got a, several kids for different women. Wendy's talking about everything. I cannot wait to, you guys know I love Wendy Williams, and Wendy Williams will be dropping the whole Tea. Hold on, let me go for your comments. Um, listen, this says it all. Thank you so much, Paris. You're so sweet. Thank you. Hey, Pooh. Please don't forget to like the video, guys. If you just joined, thank you for joining. If you want to give the video a thumbs up, it would be, really mean the world to me. Gary, there was a couple who tested positive in San Francisco, still hope the plane to quiet and they were here and they were arrested. <laughs> what? Hold on. Rita Ora is, was so responsible. What What did Rita Ora do? I'm traveling on Sunday. I had to pay 290 for a fast um, call. See, it's already traveling to 290. That's mad. Mad, mad. The, the biopic looks messy because the whole fainting situation only happened last year. Um, did you see the Kardashian family prank? Yes, I did. I didn't really get it though because, first of all, the Kardashians definitely ranked you before to let you know they were doing this prank because if they ran me doing that, I'd be like, uh, what? It's a bit mad because you can't FaceTime on a private number, so you would know who the number's from. I'm definitely going to watch. I'll, I'll watch a review. Not not enough people are dying at once for them to formulate vaccines for HIV cancer herpes. Also, they make more money for selling drugs for chronic illnesses but than curing them. This is so true. So, oh my God, the comments are going really fast. Sorry, guys. Mr. Wood. Oh, no, you're lying. That's Mr. Wood. How am I going to watch P Valley now? Oh my God. Did you go? I actually never watched, finished watching P Valley. So, child. Um, I can't wait to watch it. So messy, guys. It looks so messy. Thank you so much, Jamie. So messy, but we're watching it. Thank you. The hair isn't dead, so you know. This will be here, meanwhile. But she won't talk about her. Listen, 
Oh my god, look, there is a part though where she speaks about Whitney, but um, I, I think it's very brief. Just watched something, I just watched something on it today. Oh, it hasn't, okay, thank god, because I love Mr. World Premiere. Wendy, Wendy is speaking about everything, like everything. Um, capitalism, Wendy got, uh, got listen, Wendy got that check. She's been looking really good these days, though, I have to say. The Kardashian. The one thing I did like, though, did you guys see Kylie Jenner's um, TikTok, the one where the, you know that song that I run DMC, eh, Rocky, and that goes, in it, and like the, the things on top of it says rappers, ballers, outgoing. You guys, I think that, that TikTok was quite good. And um, Rita Ora had a pop. Oh, shut up. When? Please, when? Oh, hold on. <laughs> one of my good friends is actually really good friends with her. So I'm thinking, is that the party? <laughs> So I'm thinking, is that the party he was at? Hold on, bro. please tell me when this party was. Because child, I've been trying to get through to my friend and, oh, not him being fine. We thought I had a birthday. Oh, shut up. Was this recently? To be fair, though, remember when Rita Ora tried to call for Beyonce? Rita Ora, child. Mm -mm -mm. Rita Ora got fine. She offered, Rita, she didn't get fine. Oh, she offered to pay the money. Okay, thank you. After Barbados, excuse me? After Barbados got COVID, says, oh my God, I am so jealous, Cherry. I'm so jealous. Hawaii don't play with COVID. It's a small island with 1.3 million. They'll touch the button. <laughs> Hawaii, Hawaii do not play. Hawaii is one of those places, yeah, that just, they, they can't afford to not play. We thought I had a birthday bash during lockdown, breaking the rules, and she apologized. And after that, last year, shared the photos online. 126 people on there. Can we please, guys, please like up the video? Please, it would mean the world to me. Thank you so much. A birthday ground, fine. Oh, in London, there was a guy that basically kept his gym open. And um, so it's not funny. He got fined 60 grand. And the week after, um, Boris announced that um, lockdown was over. And then obviously, gyms are now open. Imagine a 60k fine listen not me it was for a 30th birthday yes get was over the weekend oh my god oh my god hey boo team plastics team guys and the match is coming it's coming we've just had some difficulties because of covid it's coming just so you guys know we've got some exciting things planned if the match does not come before christmas it's definitely going to be for the new year so i'm super excited and you know just trying to switch up on the merch is coming for you guys asking. It's coming soon. <sighs> Child, anyway, so. Anyways. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't, I'm just joking. I don't have a problem with him. Rita always mom's NHS doctor. She should know better. Guys, I hate to leave, but I've still got a city start in the morning. So I have to drop. I'll be on the end to the next one. Oh, Bev, no problem. Thank you so much for joining. Make sure you have a really cute appointment tomorrow. and um. Yeah, this, you, you're, you know you got my DMs anyway. Um, thank you so much for your message the other day. You know I messaged you, but yeah, have a lovely, lovely sleep, and I hope you, you know, have a good weekend. Oh, my God. Skin is glowing. And the foundation I've got on today is, um, I've actually got, you guys know what we speak about. This, this is a Shiseido um, Psycho Skin. So I've got this. I've actually almost finished it. I'm actually so upset that I've almost finished it. Really upset. Um, Hold on. Um, you just, you. You look fabulous. My six-year-old daughter absolutely loves you. Oh, thank you so much. What about the podcast? How is your OnlyFans going? Um, so I want to do a podcast, but that won't come to next year. My OnlyFans is going really well. Um, I haven't really I, I told them I uploaded something last week. I actually uploaded a really amazing Christmas look purple one. But it's going really well, but it's really hard to keep a hold of. Um, love you too, bad. Bye. It's a, it's a super spreader event for me. That is always on a I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Rita always slow. She's watching. Um, she's wearing Timberland boots and she tagged a musician. Not the. <laughs> I can't breathe. My lashes coming off. Even on Rita's foot. But why did I? Hold on. Was it in a restaurant? You guys are lying. <gasps> oh, child, not the restaurant. Gary, what's the tea? His team's messy. Oh, I can't even spill any tea. There's no tea, but. <sighs> Guys, London's too much of a small place for me to spilling tea like that. What? Oh, anyway, um, Hawaii prizes are so good night, Bev. Hold on, I knew, I knew that's what he lived in my. Oh, child, anyway. <laughs> God, anyway, 
<laughs> um, okay, so guys, we need to, guys, I've still got so much topic to speak about. I have. Okay. So guys, anyway, Kenyan War said that she went on a date with Kanye West. Did you see this on Wendy today? Did you guys see it? I can't, to be fair, Kenya back, obviously Kenya is so beautiful, Kenya more. But back in the day, Kenya was a bad ass bitch. And that is on period. Kenya was so gorgeous. Um, what are you guys saying? Did you guys hear about how Kenya said she went on a date with Kanye and she went to his house? You guys must have heard that. Mm. This mobile is really good. What was that show where she spoke about champagne being burnt? Was it Dynasty? She was like, it's, it's burnt or something burnt. Hold on, let me see what you guys are saying. The comments are... Oh my God, does anyone know what restaurant it was? Last week, but we only came out of lockdown um, two days ago. Wait, what? What restaurant? I need to Google this after this because this is mad. I shan't, yeah, I'm going to speak about that after. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, Kanye. So she went on a date with Kanye West. You guys must have heard about this. So she went on a date with Kanye. I think she didn't say when though, which is quite confusing, which I thought was quite strange. Trust this is how you know Gary had the tea. This the right book the right. This is how you know Gary had the tea, write the book already. <laughs> they show police saying, uh, Oh, what? Kenya Moore is so desperate. So if I thought I did think, why is Kenya Moore speaking on a married man? How could Kenya and Kanye's ego listen? No way could no way she's yet yeah, she no way she would have she would have been said something madness. This guy passing me from her apartment to the restaurant in Moron. Shut up. That is crazy. Oh my god, don't sleep my good sister. I do love Kenya. I feel like Kenya's so entertaining. Rita organized at, at the restaurant and they were in, in cahoots together. Not Wendy have not shown not shown yet. Um, what Kenya done have for me? Yeah, Kenya's BBL is a bit mad. I will not lie. Kenya is so beautiful. I'm, I'm pretty. I'm sure in one of his vids she doesn't describe. Yeah, Kenya. People forget Kenya used to be a video vixen. Kenya's been in videos with Jay Z. She's been in Fresh Prince. Kenya is actually proper that girl. Kenya and Kanye. I know. But hey, Gary, you're making me on point. Thank you so much. I actually love the way this foundation. This foundation is actually so good. Like, I haven't used it for, like, maybe a few weeks, but I actually love this foundation. Like, especially, like, during these colder months, Kanye, Kanye, in the midst of a lockdown, money fame tour, Kanye, Kenya should have, listen, I feel like Kenya definitely should keep it to herself because there's just no need. Gary, Kenya does the point. <laughs> okay, let's move on because we've got something. Okay. Which house? I don't know. Was it June that told me about this? Or I think it was you, June, actually. Okay. So we need to speak about, okay, Erica Jane. And her husband are being sued because her husband and her are being like apparently they've been embezzling money, embezzling money, and apparently the sister's been doing a madness with money, which I'm quite shocked about because I thought that Erica Jane and her husband were legit. But anyway, Erica Jane and her husband are obviously now um <laughs> being sued for money embezzlement and the whole shebang. You guys know who Erica Jane is, right? Kenya had a BBL, she's the worst. Yeah, Kenya had a BBL, babe. Like it's so obvious. Like, she probably had a BBL. Mm-mm-mm. Hold on. Rita's party was in Nightingale. Kill. Casa Cruz in West <gasps> Oh. She said she would pay the restaurant fine. That is crazy. Oh. I actually know the restaurant. That is mad. Hey, sister, join my play. Hey, Jasmine, how you doing, boo? No, pops, I'm still going for a lot of topics. We're, we're just now on Erica Jane. She's in... <laughs> in battle? So she... So Erica Jane has been... um, She's been, she's been embezzling money. <laughs> Allegedly. In battle? <laughs> ah, she's been embezzling money. Oh my God, psycho, is she killing me? Is she killing me? Hold on, I guess that's why she's divorcing him. Yeah, so she's divorcing him, which I found quite weird, but apparently, guys, apparently, because you know how her husband's got bare kids, apparently the husband didn't put her in the well. Hold on, something to my eye. Apparently, Erica wasn't in the well, which I find quite crazy. So apparently he didn't put her in the well, only the kids were in the well. So Erica is from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She's like, she's done a collaboration with Two-Faced, 
What about the Gerbil arrest? I already spoke about this. And, uh, sorry, look, so you must have joined quite late. So I spoke about this, but no one knew who he was. But I know who he is. But yeah, well, I spoke about him, babe. It's so sad, isn't it? Um, Kali, um, the neighbors snitch. But what did they expect? The restaurant is a residential area. I love Erica. I would never apologize for it. I do love Erica too. That's why the divorcing. I knew something wasn't right. That's mad. Proper mad. I think I have the implant or the shots because of BPRs. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly, yes, babes. I send the tea. Why would you steal money from folks who are familiar? Yes, so that was it. June sent it. She said that she, um, they were stealing money from families that died in a plane crash. Erica and her husband. Allegedly, how crazy is that? I just feel like, what is wrong with people? That's to protect their assets. That their divorce is to protect. Oh, really? <gasps> Imagine being married to longer, not being in the world. Listen. Erica's proper pretty as well. Did you do you got did you guys hear that she spends 80k um a year on glam or is it 80k a month on glam? I can't remember how much it is, but divorce I always wondered how she flew a glam. Yes, it's Kim. Apparently her glam team costs 80k a month. Not 80, I think it's 80k for the year. No, is it 800 k for the, the the year? But her glam is mad. Her glam team is crazy. Who is she, is she stealing money from people in the pandemic? The way I would beat the old man for wasting my time. Listen, I ain't got time to be, listen. Um, she's so stupid that listen, it's actually crazy. But let's move on because uh okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna wait for you guys. To, okay, so I know some of us are gonna argue about this because these two people are super talented, and I feel like people are gonna have their own opinions. So um what? 40k a month for glam teen no first of all for 40 grand a month i will buy all of sephora all of ulta all of mac and i will do that makeup myself that is crazy excuse me you guys are lying excuse me isn't a white lady who uses red as makeup it's priscilla Yes, Priscilla. Yeah, Priscilla's amazing. But anyway, anyway, distraction. So um, you guys know Keisha Cole. Hold on. Keisha Cole and Ashanti are doing a versus. And <laughs> I'd love to be part of a team glam booked in booty. Booked in busy, honey. That's on P. So anyway, Keisha Cole and Ashanti are doing a versus, which uh, I'm not here for it. I'm going to watch it because I love Ashanti. I just feel like Ashanti is Ashanti. I do like Keisha Cole, but I feel like She's just, her personal life has taken over her musical career. But um, I do love Keisha Cole. But for me, I just feel like Ashanti's going to win. Who do you guys think is going to win? Comment down below. But I just feel like it's Ashanti for me. But Keisha Cole has proper hits. But Ashanti has Rain On Me. She has a song she's done for J-Lo. She's had um, Foolish, um, um, Happy. She's had um, Ja Rule songs. Um, I don't think Keisha and Ashanti, I don't think Keisha and Ashanti relate. That's what I was thinking. Ashanti should have burst someone else. Rich people probably with Team Ashanti. Period. 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 <clears throat> Kim, she's a musician, don't you know? Who? Who? <laughs> I love them both. But Ash Ashanti's, rain on me. Ashanti's going to win. Hold on. Um, Ashanti, yes. Night. K. Sis. Sis. Night. K. Ashanti. Period. I'm actually joking. <laughs> it's Ashanti for me. Hold on. Oh my god. All the comments are going down really quick. Hold on. Um, Keisha Cole is amazing. Life she puts on a good show. Ash hold on. Ashanti also has. <laughs> Listen, Ashanti has the J Lo song. You guys know Ashanti sung the hooks with J Lo song, so period. Alan, hey, thank you for joining, babe. Keisha, it's Keisha for me. Her voice, she's not Ashanti. Ashanti does not only have six songs. Don't, <laughs> don't try it. Hold on. Uh, hey, Gary, looking lovely. Thank you so much, babes. Keisha lost the vocals. Ashanti is just that. It's, it's just the vocals for me. Ashanti had been <laughs> Ashanti had been singing baby at seven years old. 
Baby, 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 baby. Ashanti is just that girl. Ashanti, because she's just... Ashanti has such a good relationship with her mum as well. And I just love it. Um, but she has employees. At least she's helping. <laughs> Hold on. Keisha should stick to love and hip hop. <laughs> Do you guys remember when Keisha went and love and hip hop? Who was she dating again? Bob's, Bob's, Bob's. I can't remember the guy's name was, but Child, Ashanti all the way. J Lo is shameless. Ashanti versus J Lo. Ash the thing is, J Lo. J Lo cannot sing. But I do love J-Lo. Um, but she's been smoking two boxes of cigs every day. She might sound like a man. Does Keisha call smoke? Keisha can't back to stand there singing. I do love that song. That's such a tune. Hold on, what was that song? Um, I changed my... Was it, what was that song by Keisha Cole? Um, I don't love you no more. I don't know what that song was called, but that song was such a banger. Oh, that baby... <laughs> baby was such a tune. <laughs> It was booby. <laughs> oh my god, it was booby. Do my booby. Do my booby. Hold on, hold on. Was it hold on? Was it booby that went had, that had a um a affair with Brooke Valentine? Oh, who had the affair with Brooke Valentine? Was it booby? Hold on, who had the affair with Brooke Valentine? Hold on, the comments are going a bit fast. Hold on, Ashanti only had only you was that, but. Uh, Shanti had only you, and that was a banger. And the only you was a banger. New Subby. Hey, Sabina. Hey, girl. Hold on. Do you remember Keisha Cole? Yeah, Keisha Cole had a really mad relationship with her mom. Really crazy. Who with the basketball player that turned into gay? <laughs> I can't breathe. Hold up. But, but, guys, I used to really love Brooke Valentine. She was a proper mood. Remember Brooke Valentine? It's about to be a girl fight. Um, True babes. Oh my god, it was booby. Um, Keisha spit from a 20-year-old husband. I bet she needs the money. Yes, Keisha has to sing. I should have cheated, it would go down. I love that song. Not gonna lie, Keisha had me in my little self when I feel a lot of stuff in my feeling. Keisha can sing though. It was <laughs> <laughs> not booby and Brooke Bellantan. <laughs> Marcus and Brooke. Marcus was cute though. Brooke was messy. Remember when Brooke had a fight? Listen, that versus is maybe 26 minutes. I love that hair and makeup. Brooke is pretty... Okay, let's move on because, child... Um, okay. Okay, so what I'm going to speak of now is too much. It's, it's, it's too, the, the topic is too much because, first of all, the only one thing... I'm, the only... The, okay, the next person I'm going to speak about, yeah, I have to break the baby mom because the baby mom had a baby by this person... She was speaking up in the media. And, hold on, let me put my um, laptop charger in. Hold on. It's a, laptop, it's, a, it's a laptop charger for me. Hold on. Look at my laptop charger, how busted it is. Okay, hold on one second. Okay. Okay, so next person. Hey, guys. So the next person I'm going to speak about, yeah, is very problematic. He is, he is just, he just, he's just, if cultural appropriation was a thing, he would be, but one thing I have to break about him is the baby mom. The baby mom had a, a baby by him, tried to speak with the media. The father then paid the baby mom off and the baby mom hasn't, hasn't been seen or heard of since 2016. They bought her a mansion, allegedly, and they basically paid for her whole life. So anyway, you guys know who I'm gonna speak about. Oh, guys, you must know who Chet. <laughs> you guys must know who Chet Hanks is. Please, if you guys don't know who Chet Hanks is, please, guys, please tell me you saw Chet Hanks speak speaking Patwa Jamaican. Oh, guys, it's just too much. He's he he is too much. Please tell me you know. Hold on. Yes, I got, Alan. I discussed the Wendy trailer. <laughs> I discussed it. I discussed it earlier, babe. It was. I'm gonna be watching that with a snack and some prosecco. Oh. The, <laughs> But guys, you do realize Chet Hanks had a baby for some um, random black girl. She cashed the fucking because sis spoke. When I say when she was speaking up in the media, Tom Hanks intervened and paid her ass off quickly. No one heard of her again. Chet Hanks, it's the accent for me. It's the 
it's just it's just a oh, it's the cultural appropriation for me. <clears throat> the thing is, why does he do that though? It's so cringe. It really gets on my nerves. He needs to be gone. Hold on, Gary. <laughs> Listen, no, I can't breathe, guys. White chocolate. <laughs> White chocolate. Tom Hanks used to collect his son right now. Tom Hanks, come. So listen, oh, look, Chet Hanks is blind. <laughs> listen. Chet Hanks has thrown out a few London girls. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. But anyway, um, so the baby mom, yeah, the baby mom is like a proper Instagram baby and um, black girl had a baby for him. You know, she's you know she's like that. Listen, this girl has it. This girl tried to speak out. Tom Hanks paid her off in zero point two five. Anyway, it's the main. <laughs> I need a fan. I need my fan. I can't breathe. Where's my fan? I can't breathe. This is too much. So anyway, guys, I can't read the comments. It's too much. But he calls himself white chocolate. He does. And he, he... anyway, hold on. So anyway, Chet. So anyway, flew the fuck out. So anyway, Chet spoke on. So basically, Chet was saying blood clot. He was saying this and that. He was saying, you know, he, um, he eats curry go and this blah 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 so anyway i'm gonna tell you about this app called club um clubhouse i didn't know about the app until yesterday because um everyone was speaking about it on twitter and i didn't realize clubhouse is this app where um you can speak about different topics and people open different rooms and i was in a room but anyway um chet hanks people were discussing chet in a clubhouse room chet got word of it and he chet downloaded clubhouse he entered the room and he then tried to defend himself and said that um, I'm not a cultural, um, allegedly, I'm not um, a cultural appropriating. He said, I just love the, um, the Jamaican culture. Child, sit down. Hold on. Uh, white chocolate, hold on. I'm trying to read the comments. Does he look after his child? Babe, the child is looked after very well. Very well. Um, hey, hey, girl. Hey, Cash. He's on Instagram chatting for this. He's flying out London girls. Where he, listen, he's flying out London girls. Listen, Chet likes them chocolates. He likes them at NW45 and up, if you get what I mean. <laughs> he likes the Shakisha, Keisha, Chantel, Monica. He likes them all. <laughs> it's so hard, the apps. Yes, but anyway, I didn't know. Kim, I didn't realize what app it was. So anyway, I went on it yesterday. And the app is amazing. It's basically like a live podcast, but you can speak to different people. Hold on, where is it? Club. Hold on, this is this is the app here. So that's what it looks like. You probably can't see it because it's white, and there's different rooms here, and people speak about different things. It's a really cool app. Sorry, hold on, Gary. Everyone wants to listen. So anyway, yeah, this this is it, Kim. So everyone wants to be black, but no one wants to be killed for being black. This this is what it. Is. Listen, Tom Hanks' money, yeah, is 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 long. It's 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 the kind of money that you can pass down to generations. But listen, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is one of my most favorite. Tom Hanks is listen, Tom the money's long. <laughs> the money's just, the money's stunning. So if I was a black girl, listen, if I was a girl, listen, I, if I, if Chet flew me out and I was a girl, best believe I'm getting pregnant. The bills are getting paid. Listen, child, anyway. <laughs> child. So anyway, Chet Hanks. Kim, I'm an NW, I'm an NW45, but it's a hell no. Cherry, him and Adele should host a clubhouse to discuss. Oh, child. But anyway, yeah, Chet went on this chat and said, um, oh, I shouldn't have to defend myself. Um, I just love the culture. But someone said, it's funny how you change your voice to being soft and you know normal when you're trying to defend yourself because um when you're trying to um, do all this jamaican and pat will talk you're being loud and aggressive but he was but they basically said that's your white privilege which i do think is true because 
you you can switch on how you want to speak and which tone you want to do. I just feel like it's a bit mad. You don't think it's mad, guys, but that like Tom Hanks money? <laughs> Baby. Or what's someone saying? What's someone saying? You can never catch people who love Asian culture mucking their accents all the time. That's true. It's beyond long. The money, listen, Tom Hanks money is... It's definitely in that kind of Tom Cruise. You're talking like I'm. Su- I don't, I'm surprised it's not a billionaire. The baby, the baby mom. No, she's not from the UK. She's definitely from LA or something. Um, I would let Tom listen. If Tom Hanks said to me, "Listen, you're talking too much. Have, have your millions and disappear." Best believe I would shut down this YouTube channel. <laughs> this YouTube channel will be shut down. I, I would move. I would have to move. I'm changing my name. Change my passport. The passport is now yellow. I'm mo- I'm living in Nebraska. Listen, <clears throat> baby, I'm uh, I'm gone. If Tom Hanks is saying me to move, I'm moving. <laughs> oh, so I'm, che- I'm screaming. Oh, no, oh. Adele. Oh, I do like Adele, but it's the oh. it was the Bantu nuts to me. <laughs> but I do like Adele. I've seen her in concert. She's really good. It's just really, really good. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, my chair was going. Sorry. What do you think about Burner Boy? What? Hold on. Was it Burner Boy? Was it Burner Boy? Day, was it Burner Boy Day, um, Steph London? This is tea. Excuse me? No, you are lying. I moved to listen. I'm I moved to Utah. I'm moving to Hawaii. I'm moving to um. I'm not sure where I'm moving to, but I live on the ground. If he tells me, I've not listen. <laughs> I need all the zeros. Listen, I I I will stop speaking to my family for a good five years if the zeros are long enough. Listen, no one came from me until 2028. <laughs> no joking. I can't. So I'm joking. <laughs> plastic who? Plastic boy who? Who? I, I don't know who that is. I'm not sure who any of you are, but Tom Hanks told me to, to go over there and that's where I will move to. <laughs> uh, I just can say it all you know you had to the mess. Sip tea. You guys are king lying. This is too much. This is too much. Oh, child, I can't. I don't, I don't want to speak about the the the, the person because it, it's just too much. Oh, but this is tea. This is tea. What? I just dropped my phone. This is tea. Shut up. <laughs> I can't breathe. You guys are doing too much. Hold on. She's she's pretty. <laughs> she's very pretty. They won't hear from me until the next... Listen, they won't hear from me until cars can fly. That's how underground I would be. It would be Futurama in this bitch. Listen, I would have one eye and purple hair. Running. <laughs> I would have one eye and a pony with purple hair when they see me. Oh, no. Oh, what's your dark skin? She dark skin. No, I'm screaming. <laughs> I'm screaming. This is too much tea. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Who's got? Who's got a metal boot chin? <laughs> oh, you guys are too much. Another girl from the UK told all that plastic boy, "Shut up." I'm screaming, the girl's 23. People say these new songs about it. It's, it's about her on Twitter. No, this is too much. Oh my God, it's on the shade bar. Uh, but, uh, so basically, I have to look at, uh, so basically, I'll tell you a story. So you know the shade bar, yeah? I don't have a problem with them. They seem really nice. But one time they started looking at my stories and following me. So I got really scared because I thought I was going to be involved in a scandal. And I'm not a scandalous person. So I, you would never ever catch me in the shade bar, you know, in a madness. So I got scared. So I was like, oh my God, the shade bar, looking at my Instagram stories and they're following me. So I'm like, oh my God, imagine if someone likes trying to sell like a naked selfie of me or something. But anyway, I think they just um, found me of someone else, but they don't follow me after that. So 
but I got so scared. So I always get scared looking at the shape for <laughs> Um, I, I, um, I'm, I was beginning to think Bera didn't like himself. Child, good for the tip. Listen, Steph said it was like, <laughs> you got, guys, my lashes coming off. Oh, child. Who said the thick, oh, thick Neff, oh, guys, please. Please, guys, honestly, I'm crying. <laughs> no, I was, I was so scared. I was so scared because, listen, there's one thing, there's one thing you will not catch me in this lifetime. I will not be on the shade bar for drama, for our madness. I will not be a hot tea. I will not be the hot topic on the shade bar. Listen. Steph commented on the post saying, what, what in the Nali, what is going on here? Um, I would be scared. I was so scared, guys. I was so scared. After, oh, oh child, guys, I can't miss, guys, the drama on that is mad, mad. Oh, it's just, I, I don't know, it's just very crazy. Not that you can't like, I don't like, oh, the, oh. The thing is for me though, do you not, I always find that UK news is a bit dry. I feel like the shade room, the, the news is just, I just feel like UK news, we always have, you know, bad boy piece of information. We have crazy stuff like that, but some people never get the day off in drama. Listen, I would, I could, Gary the Shaper are dangerous, glad they live. I'm so glad too for me because um I was so scared because I'm not a, I'm not a messy person. I don't. I don't like drama. I don't like madness. So when I seen them looking at me, I was just like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!" Is it? So I got so scared. I do think. I just don't like negativity. That's one thing I will not be. The Shibora has the whole tea. The step. Not the ox. <laughs> I can't. She had the energy to support her brother. Period. Period. No, no, I can't. I cannot. The Burner Boy song called on the low is about her. Imagine your man releasing a song it's about another girl. Nah. I had to unfollow. Listen, I actually don't I don't follow the shade room. I go in the shade room when I want to look at it. I don't follow it. I don't follow the shade borough. I don't follow any of these news outlets. You know what? I'm not gonna lie, I love looking at news. Obviously, we're talking about sip and slay. I will look at news when I want to consume it. I don't want to look on my feed and consume things I don't want to see. So I will look on the grid and see things that I, w- that I want to see. But <laughs> you guys are kidding me. You are all killing me. I cannot breathe. Marina Butte. Hold on, what about Marina Butte? The bronzer brand. What about them? <laughs> Hold on, no, no, no. Not the ox step, guys. Yeah, please don't forget to thumbs up the video. <laughs> Oh my God, guys, we haven't even got to copy or dropping you or ask Gary. Just finished. Hold on. What are you guys saying? Oh, so, oh shit. My, my laptop's wet. It's not wet. We've got drops in it. Okay, guys, we need to move on to the topic because we're getting a bit distracted. One second. Um, I can't find Where are my notes? Where are my notes? What are you guys saying? UK, the UK scene is such a mess. Most rappers said nothing about Dutch and the nonsense. It's so crazy. Okay. So let's speak about, this is so sad to me. So did you, did you guys hear about how um, Tiana Taylor might be retiring from music? You know what? I love Tiana Taylor. I think she's so talented. And she said today, or yesterday, I think when it was, she said that she feels, um, what did she say? She said that she feels unappreciated in music. She does work really hard. She's super talented, beautiful banging body, beautiful family, sings really well. Her, she's just so talented, but I feel like this generation doesn't appreciate a talent like Kiana Taylor because she's not messy. Um, she's not um, involved in a madness. She, she's not really friends with the whole social media Kardashian lot. She just keeps herself to herself. And I do think in today's society that does hinder people, which is really sad, but I do love Kiana Taylor. Can you can you do a swatch of a taru blush taru blush on a marina palette? Um, do I have that? The blush. Sorry, I'll try and find it. <clears throat> I love that brown. What, what happened to Marina Boutte? Can, can someone let me know? 
It's a drama. I actually have that palette somewhere. Oh, bullshit. Oh, what happened? <clears throat> Kanye played there before that was for yeah, Pharrell signed it because remember her son Google me. Proper played there. Hold on. One second. Um, Kanye didn't do his part with Tiana, so true. Yeah, because Tiana, because he signed her to good music and he didn't do anything. Yeah, I know she's going to retire. She said that she feels that um, other artists, I feel like the streams for her Spotify weren't what she expected. No, they were, but she just feels like she's underappreciated, so she, she's going to retire. Gary, I don't know why it's any, any Taylor song. I just know she danced. Um, no, she's got... Um, I like her new album, but I didn't know any songs before that. But Tiana is super talented. I heard she doesn't feel appreciated. She's dated a drama. Yeah, true. Okay, so what do you, what, which one? Which? So hold on, this is the blush palette here for anyone asking. And that is, let me swatch it for you. Let me swatch quickly, sorry. That's the palette there. Super beautiful. I think this is in the Black Friday sales, by the way. <clears throat> sorry to get distracted. But yeah, that's the palette there. Mine is used. It's much darker in person. Yeah, that's the true color there. Sorry, guys. Um, she needs a new management, was too short of an album, and her next project was... The, I do agree with you that that album was very long. It was a bit too long to get through, but um, she's super talented. She's R&B. That's not appealing nowadays. This is very true. Um, R&B, obviously, Summer Walker, but Summer Walker has a... They have different sounds, but R and B like that, you're right. Isn't people want different sounds? I agree. I feel like this gen <laughs> stripping culture. This day, if if you look at Megan Thee Stallion, <clears throat> if you look at now to be to be in the charts, your song has to be. You have to be able to do a dance routine with your song because if you guys realize, songs that blow on TikTok actually blow in the Billboard charts. That's one thing you have to recommend, um, recognize. To me, I think it's more to do with the label management. And yeah, I remember I have from Sweet 16. Gary, can you recommend a good under ice setting powder, please? Um, Huda Beauty Easy Bake. That's probably one of the best setting powders I've, I've, I've ever used in my life. Um, I do like Laura Mercier, but I think the Huda Beauty one's just super amazing. It doesn't crease, color's amazing, and it gives coverage. It's like insane. Plus, um, my black my um, look fantastic coastal works if you're in the UK, so you could probably get discount on it as well. Um, I really like her. She's underrated. Tiana husband is rich, rich. Listen, rich, rich. Um, this is why I hate colors because if she was yellow mix, listen. Oh, this is it. I'm gonna get onto something a next topic soon, and we're gonna speak about this. Gary, would you would you ever manage upcoming influences in the future? That's a good question, actually. Um, I'm not sure. I had, someone else has asked me this. And I do, I, I'm not sure if I'd ever manage, but I would happily give advice and, you know, um, pitch people out there. But I've never thought about opening my own agency, which is really weird. But um, I do think I have enough experience and stuff, but it's just, um, I don't know, maybe in the future, maybe in like, a, like two years or something, but I would think about it. Tiana T has in her own since it came on the scene. Um, 90s R&B, listen, LL Cool J, Total, um, Nicole Ray, Missy Elliott, Little Kim, um, Telvin Campbell. The 90s R&B era is just untouchable. It's the other palette with the bronze. And, oh, sorry. Sorry. Um, this one. This one. This one is amazing. So good. I've actually got this one now. Actually, I've got a bit of blush on, but I've actually got this bronze one now. It's so good. <clears throat> Don't want to swatch it. Let me know. I mean, you basically need to, to be pretty and listen. This is, it's what, is this what this is what annoys me. I feel like in this culture, you definitely have to have a BBL, be thick, um, you know, talk about. I just feel like our culture is very tainted, and it's really, really, really sad what you have to do to be. And, it, and it's just the industry. It's, it's just what it is. The bit today's music is. And I'm not gonna lie. I do love a good stripper beat. I love a good stripper beat. It's just what it is. And I, I think these days you have to have a certain aesthetic for people to notice you. Thanks, Gary. Yes, in the UK. Where can I find you? Look fantastic code. So the look fantastic code is um, um let me type it for you. It's plastic boy cyber. Um, I did a video on it. Um, you can get discount. So you definitely use that on a hoda powder, the hoda beauty powder. You'll get, you think you'll get like twenty percent off or ten percent off. Save your coin. I don't make any money off the code. To let, just by the way, it's just a code that they gave me when I did the partnership with them. So I, I make no money off the code. <clears throat> Just to let you know. 
Um, yeah, exactly. Tiana would fit. Yeah, Tiana's just so talented. Also, anyway, let's move on to that. <laughs> okay. Did you hear about Malato saying Colin doesn't exist? She should have kept thinking. Okay, so let's move on to Malato because that was actually the next topic. So anyway, Mulatto said that colorism doesn't exist. Thank you, Fiona, for mentioning that. Mulatto, I, I love actually Mulatto. I love bitch from the South. Hey. But anyway, Mulatto, how are you saying colorism doesn't exist? First of all, you're light skin. You've obviously had your body done, allegedly, and you fit the aesthetic. So you kind of think, you have to think about the stars that are big that are aren't light skin and that isn't that many so if you think about the people that are quite big it's always like Nicki Minaj, Beyonce, Rihanna, um not Doja Cat. Um it's it, I just feel like the industry is very colorist, you know what I mean? I feel like Megan Stallion's Megan Thee Stallion's representing us very, very, very well. But um like dark, dark skin babes, I feel like people they're not represented very well. <clears throat> I love a good strip of beat too, but every other song they all sound the same. Obviously, the City Girls, JT, JT is actually amazing. JT carries the City Girls, if you ask me, very well. Like JT's verses are amazing. And Mulatto, AK. <laughs> it's a stealing wigs for me. That was actually mad. She's also mixed. This is the thing. Mulatto girl. Mulatto, sit the hell down, Gary. That's exactly what Wendy say. You got to have a flat tummy and a big butt. Do you see football? Yes. Did you see Front Master Flex had the whole lipo? No way, what? You're lying. June, what? But yeah, you gotta have a you gotta have a big ass, you gotta have a fat tummy, a flat tummy, you gotta have, you know, full beat, you gotta have a bear king these days. I just feel like it's actually crazy. Exactly. When the UK looked at look at the difference between Stock London and Miss Bank. Listen, this is true. Miss Banks, I've met her once. She's probably one of the most sweetest girls ever. Uh, I met her at the Oh My Beauty launch maybe about two years ago and she introduced herself to me and I was like, oh my God, nice to meet you. I, like, nice to meet you. And she said, don't call me Miss... I can't remember what her real name is, but she said, don't call me Miss Banks, call me this, her real name. She's so sweet, beautiful girl, very stunning. Um, and but you just kind of think it's just it's just really sad to me. Um, like, mm, from, oh, I, I did like Cash Doll, but when, it was when she tried to come for Nikki for me. So Cash Doll is a bit... We're gonna leave Cash Doll at the Dow, at the Dow. But um, I do like Cash Doll is really good though. A mm, <laughs> I see, um, Asian Doll, Asian Doll was cute. JT, back must have, listen, JT has been killing it. I do not like the dress she wore for her birthday, but JT has been killing it. What world is she living in? Yeah, so um, yeah, Mulatto is now changing her name because Mulatto actually means something like mixed or whatever. So she's changing her name to Big Lato or which I don't even care, listen. Um, I like Mulatto, but I don't like her that much to be listening to her every day. I only like a few songs, but I'm just like, whatever. Um, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a bit mad for me. So, okay, let's... Bank seems... She's really down... Like, I've only, only met her... I think I've met her twice, actually, but she's really, really sweet. Um, some people's way of thinking is, well, the reality is actually clear as day. It's mad. Listen... Um, if you look, even look at you guys, like the main ones and views and followers, fight for struggle. Listen, guys, I've been talking about it today. Like YouTube, obviously YouTube isn't my main platform, but I do YouTube because I enjoy it. I do sip and slick because I enjoy it. I don't make a lot of money off YouTube. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna tell you that point blank period. YouTube don't pay people like that, like they do. I feel like American YouTubers get better adsense than UK ones because. Actually, no, it's not even that. I feel like it's American influencers, especially if you're a girl, you get a lot of hair sponsorships and that. But I feel like in YouTube, a lot of the YouTubers look the same. I'm not going to say people, I'm not going to say who, who it is because I follow a lot of them and I do like a lot of their content. But a lot of the girls who are big in America right now, who, you know, are in the YouTube space, they all kind of look similar. They're all light skin. There's not many dark skin girls who are really killing it, except for Jackie. I do love, um, Shayla, but obviously Shayla's not that dark. Like, I just feel like there isn't that many dark-skinned black girls on YouTube and guys that are actually killing it. And I just feel like the YouTube space is so hard. Um, so many dolls finding... <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why y'all keep saying Nikki when she surrounds herself with bricks. Sis, no Nikki slander will be tolerated in here. Um... I wrote you on Miami, keeping the city girls, but yes, this is what the thing is. Yes, Jay's. 
<laughs> it's about it's by this is it it's a vibrational question for me how, how long is it hold on mulatto spanish slurs before is spanish slurs used before to the next really that's why people i love nima tang she is beautiful amazing personality look how long it took a pete mill to a pete mill to get a male subscriber listen it's hard guys like it's so hard like I just don't get it. Like, I feel like in YouTube, it's really hard to get that big break. Like, you have people that start YouTube like maybe a month ago and they just blow off just because they're lighter, they're white. It, it just doesn't make any sense. So, just gonna keep grinding. You can't have these things like deteriorating you to a different lane, but it actually is crazy. It's so sad. But um, YouTube is color struck. Like, it's actually hard out here. And I know we have YouTube black and stuff, which I've done some stuff with them, but I feel like youtube black wouldn't need to be about if we actually just had a whole spectrum of black dark black deep skin people that were actually big on youtube as well but I, the spectrum isn't fair but again life isn't fair so it's one of those things that we can't really complain about but it's just just a bit crazy i do love ahima too ahima's really really sweet she's really nice that's why i love jackie she said how it isn't even if it affects the bag yeah, that's why I love Jackie as well. Like Jackie's, I've met Jackie like three or four times, and Jackie is really, really sweet. Like when I say sweet, she is super nice. Like she's just so nice. Like I can't. Um, I'm, I remember the first time meeting her. It was actually so crazy, but she's actually so nice. Rolling Ray and Santana was it for me? The Rolling Ray drag. <laughs> well, not the purr. Not, not the. Not, I'm not the one. I'm the more fucking two. Um, you just came for my name. Leave my name on Oh, Black the Doll. <laughs> it's that like little Kim in the chat. Huh? Where? What? Girl Miami is a real one. Um, Fit Brand is helpful. Said so I can't really find a shade match in a girl that that is barely barely posed and doesn't really be in black or being friends with other black creators. Hold on, who who are you guys talking about? Um, preach Destiny Godfrey. Oh my God, is she still making? I haven't watched her videos for ages. I do, um, hold on, support, listen, support smaller creators, not to support me, small, support Ahima. There's also, um, who else I love watching? There's um, Tammy Clark, Makeup by Tammy. She's not a small creator, but she's actually big on YouTube, but she's amazing. Um, there's also a Mellis Child. There's also um, Uche. Um, there's also, um, who else is there? There's a, there's a few. I watch lots of people, you know, I watch everyone. I try and, I have a whole playlist of people, but um, I was actually watching this um white girl the other day, and like it's so crazy. Like she does vlogs and stuff, and her aesthetic is really cool. But when I say I only started watching her last month, she she was on like ten k. This girl is now on like sixty k, and she obviously has a black boyfriend. It's just it's just crazy how the YouTube thing works. If you if you're on YouTube and you're in an interrelational relationship, listen, it's crazy. Savannah, so oh, I do love her, love her, really like her. I love Nella Rose too. Um, met Nella loads of times. Nella is a really, really sweet girl, really sweet, really nice. There's also, also watch um, oh, yeah, Adiola Patron, beautiful girl, stunning. Met her a couple of times, really sweet, beautiful girl, killing it on YouTube, beautiful, dark skin, just beautiful girl. Mella, such a vibe, <laughs> most Instagram, Tammy Clark, yes. Fumi is a YouTuber as well. You love Fumi. Follow her. Exactly. Even the UK Patricia Bright is, is the only one with over a million subs. But we got Nurse, Shina Ambrose, Brini Lee, Mela, Lydia Dinga. Met every single one of them. Really sweet. Brini sweet. Nella sweet. Chanel sweet. Mela sweet. Lydia sweet. Miss Sids, my girl. Have to big her up. She's killing it. Um, Growing good as well. It's just crazy. Love Tamit. Gary, only me again. What colour in the setting palette did you recommend? Um, get the Huda Beauty Kunafa. Um, yeah, get Kunafa because it's like um, ugh, I do not have it here. Where is it? Hold on, let me show you it. This is it here. Kunafa. Kunafa. Get Kunafa. Miss I um, not, not heard of this person. I'll check them out. Annie Drea, met her a few times, really sweet. Editing's amazing, beautiful girl, really, really sweet. Um, I'm getting a white guy. Guys, if you want to get an interrelational relationship on YouTube, 
listen, I'm not saying that's the only reason to get in one, but child, so she knows how to paint. Andrea will start a YouTube channel. Okay, let's move on because I literally have not finished. Oh my God, hold on, let me check my camera. Oh, hold on. Let me check my camera actually one second. Let me just check my battery. Let me check. One sec. Okay, one, two bars. Check. Oh, hold on. Ooh, not the camera child. Okay, okay, so um, in real life couples, YouTube are so cringe. I always read titles like my white boyfriend tries Chloe got for the first time. So cringy. Do you think the influencer market's always saturated now to always there's still space to blow? There's definitely still space to blow. Hold on, yeah. There's still space to blow, but um, I think you definitely just kind of a niche or um, I feel like it depends what you do. I feel like makeup tutorials don't get as much views as they used to. So I feel like you either have to be speaking about something quite controversial, you either have to be with someone that's controversial or, you, I don't know, it's just different. You have to be doing something that's like, so if you look at the guy called James Welsh, is it James Welsh or Robert Welsh? One of the two, not James, is it James Welsh? But he started off by speaking about, you know, influencers, rating, like looking at people's Instagram videos and talking about like popular influencers. So that's how he kind of got big. Not That's not the only reason I like his videos, but that's the kind of reason. But, um, you know, just doing something quite controversial, but who child? So anyway, <laughs> skin is moving out. Thank you. you you're up there to quality. You're always doing luxury and I love it. I think you should do that more. Thank you so much. I'll try and do it more, but I feel like, I don't know, I try and do different things, but I feel like people just don't reciprocate it, but it's just trial and error. It's all good. She did say, I know you're amazing. Thank you so much, babes. Okay, let's move on to the topics because I've got so much topics more left. Okay, so thank you. You guys are so sweet. James, yeah, James, so that's it. Because the twins, the twins, aren't they? Twins, James. James Welsh and Robert Welsh. Yeah. So anyway, Rihanna and ASAP Rocky are officially dating. What do you guys think about that? Oh, I do wish Rihanna would probably just get... I just feel like ASAP Rocky, because he's dated Kendall Jenner and the, all those kind of people, I just feel like, allegedly, I saw that child. You know what I mean? I don't have a coupon code for Marina Boutte. Sorry, I think I, mean, I saw your comment, but I missed it. The skin twin or the makeup one. The makeup one that yeah the Welsh brothers that 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 watch the, that are hilarious Gabby, i noticed your face is sweating you better work i was loving the face iron hat i didn't look down thank you yes giving festive vibes <laughs> james the skincare twin um you're my mate thank you when i come across gam like yeah i caught the one of his story time like, oh thank you so much june you are so sweet finally not rihanna's with a not rihanna with a color to ace at rocky just I don't know. Do you remember when he tried to say Black Lives Matter? Did it? Did it? Wasn't a thing. Love the eyes, guy. Thank you, Maureen. Thank you. I actually love the glitter. So pretty. So nice. Um, Rihanna needs another ASAP Rocky. Ricky and man stuck in a. <laughs> Rihanna, Rihanna let me down with that, but I forgive her. We'll make silly mistakes. She did let me down too. I was a bit kind of like, mm. after billionaire. Let's listen. What would you get with a Saudi billionaire than go to ASAP Rocky? But I do feel like ASAP Rocky has like a lot of charm, a lot of charisma. He kind of talks the talk. ASAP should have stayed in a view for yourself. <laughs> um, I don't know about him from Rihanna. I hope they haven't been touched by the Kardashian kind of church, the curse. This is what I'm thinking. Oh, let's hope it works up. I, I do feel like Rihanna needs someone that's, oh, it's not the lipstick on my teeth. I feel like Rihanna needs someone that's a bit older, a bit like, you know, just like someone that isn't in music. Do you know what I mean? Because Rihanna is basically like a billionaire. Ain't no way, this convert is sitting right. <laughs> Hold on. Um, James Walsh, skin camera, but Walsh, makeup, and other combined channels together. You look amazing, guys. Thank you so much, Sophie. Um, I haven't watched their combined channel, but all I do know is that Robert Walsh, the makeup one, I like his videos. He has grown so quick. So imagine, I think he's. He's definitely going to hit a million soon, but I think he's on like 600k subscribers, but crazy. Um, hold on. Um, he said Black Lives Matter doesn't affect him because he's rich. How stupid is that? Who the hell would say that? Didn't ASAP make some horrible past comments? Yeah, he did. Um, ASAP, he's so fine. His fight, but his actions are sus. True, true. 
they, they, I think they did date before because if you okay, so guys on YouTube, there's a video that ASAP like Rocky and um, Rihanna do for GQ, and they kind of look like they're in um, different parts. It's like a video session, but they're basically in the same room. You can basically tell. Um, full of chat, it won't last. So true. Your teeth look so beautiful. Such a great investment. Thank you. Um, I always forget I have my teeth done until people say it's actually so crazy. Um, out here looking dark skin. Is that what he said? Out here saying dark skin women look like burnt toast when they wear. Oh yes, yeah, I remember he said that. Like, how dare you say black women can't wear red lipstick when your mom? As a dark skinned woman herself, so rude. Oh my god, I love Paid by Spencer. He can paint. Listen, Painted by Spencer is so talented. Like, are we sure this is a quarantine hookup? I think they've been dating for quite a while, you know. I think they've been dating for a hot minute. I see the one, that, yes, he's the one that got locked up in Sweden, then went back to Sweden to perform for a concert. How silly. Um, Esti wants to be a sugar mama. Yeah, he is. So, are there good lippies? Which ones? We need to go, listen. Okay, let's move on because, oh, child, this can't be a two. Um, okay, we spoke up with Lotto. <clears throat> okay, this is the last one, and then we'll move on to Ask Gary. Okay, so Drake is releasing a candle that smells like him. Would you guys buy it? This is kind of like a couple drop, but this isn't. Are you guys buying the candle that Drake releases of himself that smells like him? Mm, Drake is sexy, but as, as I said before, Drake doesn't really do it for me. I don't really like his music. I feel like he's really good looking now. I'm not going to lie, he's hot. But his music doesn't do it for me. If we want to be happy, we should stay away from the rappers. This is so true. Um... <laughs> Except with his duty brace, we expect someone to take him out. He'll take her money. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> oh no. We're buying. No. Temaka, hold on. Way by. It sold out. Oh my God, did it. Don't you think that people surround yourself with? There's enough about you as a person. I love her, but why would you be someone that makes that so true? Yeah, I think it was more sexy. I think it was more sexy too. Um, um, cop Drake um, got a good taste though. Drake is hot but he's low key for the streets low key um, I want to smell but I'm not buying it Drake is, is so unattractive <laughs> I'll buy the candle that makes my bank fatter than his what the hell what the fuck <laughs> nope 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 thank you if I smell like a stinky soda with all the baby flies out listen period okay let's move on to ask Gary now because child Chat. Okay, let's move on to Ask Gary. Okay, so these questions are a bit mad this week because I've had them since last week, but I've just kept on to them. Okay, so the first question is, this is the Ask Gary now, guys. The first question is, hey, Gary, love the new place. Thank you so much, babes. I recently had a fight with my partner's mom. She threw a, she threw a drink in my face and won't apologize. My other hubs keep defending his mom's actions. What do I do? First of all, babes, you're good because from when the mom threw a drink in my face, I would have had to knock her. Okay, I don't condone violence, but I would have had to just... We would have been fighting because no one's throwing a drink in my face and getting away with it. It's just so crazy. How's that? that? Drake needs to hop back in his badger and just be rich and be quiet. $80? $80? What? A red card. The candle probably smells... Nicole, do not kill me. Hold on. Met Drake's cute. Do not walk away. <laughs> Listen, I would walk away if you're how is your other half mom throwing a drink in your face? He's defending her. To be fair though, if he's defending her with that, sis walk away and got time. The relationship is over. So, sorry, the relationship's done. For when, for when my face is dripping and your mom... Fruit, no, no. Drake has enough weight to, and he's bringing... Uh, <laughs> I would, hold on, I would be in jail. I would, oh, sorry, the mom would have to just catch some hands. Period. Mom is catching these hands. Hold on. Sorry, I have to check in my, can, my camera was um, charging. My question is, what did she do to get the drink thrown? Babe, if you're watching this, what did you do to get the drink from? Because at the same time, 
and her man didn't defend her, slap him. <laughs> so, period. Everyone can get everything. Listen, listen, I would listen. Everyone's getting, I, I probably wouldn't do it then. I'd wait till Christmas Day. Everyone's catching hands, everyone. The disrespect. Listen, I would knock them off. <laughs> Is this love and hip hop? Don't kill me. Okay, next question. Okay, where's the next question? Okay, hey Gary, love you some. Okay, so babe, for you, you need to leave the relationship. Just leave. She ain't got no chance. Leave. Okay, okay, so next question. Gary, love you so much. My question is my husband just left his job. Hold on, what is it? Hold on. Hey Gary, love you so much. My question is my husband just left his job because he wants to open a restaurant. He's done this one month ago and only told me a few days ago. I feel sick that he left his job. What do I do? First of all, do you guys have kids? If not, leave. If your husband can make such um, big boy decisions and not include you, like quitting his job, especially, I'm not sure if he's the main provider for you guys. And if not, I would definitely have to leave him because that is just crazy. Like, how is he leaving you? Obviously, if you want to open a restaurant, a restaurant that's amazing but you definitely have to have a backup plan you can't just quit your job and have um, to be honest i'm not sure if you guys have savings but it's a bit mad it's honestly a bit crazy hold on you can't trust them with a drink in a hand for the future <laughs> not quit. i would wait till christmas day guys and just, just fuck her up sorry in a list in a listen in a pandemic who quits their job in a and first of all who's going to have a child Wait until everyone is catching Easter in the Christmas episode. Listen, when, period, period, very selfish. I think that too, I leave, <laughs> open a restaurant. <laughs> Babes, why would your man quit his job and try to open a, a new restaurant during COVID when people are scared to leave their houses as it is? Listen. Why didn't he tell her? I would say that is so disrespectful. Kick the husband out. Restaurants can be money pits. This is what I'm saying. Restaurants can be mad. Um, not as messy. <laughs> this is the, you know what? This is the best time to get revenge. So when it's Christmas Day, listen, hold it until Christmas Day. Just say what you need to say, then leave. The doubt is that way. How did you leave your job without a backup plan? This is what I'm saying. Can we talk about Miss Candice Owens? Who's that? Who's that? This is Candice. Um, I quit my job in a pandemic and been regretting it. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm hoping to get another job though. But yeah, I've, I've, I've had a few friends that have quit their job in the pandemic too. And they they, they quit their job just before it, the pandemic hit, like the lockdown. So they regretted it so much. Um, But yo, no, you'll find another one. Hey, if I'm 130 folks in here, but we can we get to 120 likes for 113. Please like the video, guys. Oh, hold on. How could your hobby make such a drastic decision and not have a conversation with the wife? We're in a pandemic, really. So true. Hold on. A marriage is a two-way partnership. I believe in supporting each other's dreams, but he's moving reckless during the economic crisis. Listen, period. Gary, have you heard about the West Indian comedian Major Hyde beating his wife? Oh my God, June told me about this earlier. I was going to speak about it, but um, I feel like I didn't know too much about it. But yes, apparently... Um, he was cheating on her, and then she did a whole Instagram live thing. It's crazy. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, what is going on? Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like the whole world is going crazy. I, I found it even better one. Oh, that's amazing. Gary, who did not do this last year, he did it in the middle of a pandemic for the 2020. That was not a smart idea right now. We were open going on, especially if you need to provide your family. Times are tough. I was major done it last month, but now they have gone completely bust. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, Colleen. I'm really hoping you find something new. Times are so hard at the moment. It's so sad. Mm. I know, major hype thing's crazy. I've, I've, I've never really heard of him, though. I've heard of him, but I'm not too... I'm, I don't know much of his work. Hmm. Okay, let me, let's move to the next question. Uh, why you guys speak? <laughs> Not Kim saying who. Okay. Hey, Gary, thank you for always entertaining me. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, cool. Thank you for entertaining me during the pandemic. Quick question. My friend has been staying with me for a few weeks before she got her condo. 
but I know she's been stealing from me while she was staying while she while she was staying with me. Do I beat her ass or talk to her face to face? I beat her ass. I'm sorry. You want to stay with me before you get your apartment? You want to steal from me? I wouldn't even say anything. I'll say, "Hey, babe, do you want to?" I feel like we should speak. Listen, no. How dare you? How dare you steal from me? You want to stay in my house and steal from me? And I'm no, no. Things like that just can't run. Hold on, I'm in range of, um, this is so random. Now I have to unfollow Maja. It's awful, fingers crossed. Maja's hype with news to my, oh no. Still, <laughs> both, beat her ass. <laughs> Sorry, no one's gonna be staying under my roof, stealing from me while I'm sleeping. No, no, I'm going to prison that day. That's one thing I know for sure. I'm going to prison, not me, nope. So you get no, no, you're getting slapped up. Not me. I'll wait till Christmas Day too, and you'll get Gabby Gabby at Rule Four. I fought. I've had a fight two times. Once in the club, and once outside the club. This was when I was like seventeen. So I listen. It was crazy, but I don't. I don't fight. But if I have to, I'll oh, hang. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you he released a sex tape on Twitter. I was talking about how she was cheating on him with oh my god. What? Sitting on my house while she might like, get out of here. He won't even what the hell? Story time. Yeah, I do a story time about I, that's a good story time actually. I do a story time about how I had a fight in the club. That's a really good story time actually, because it's like, a very mad one. Gary, did you hear about the Arcadia group on Top Shot? Was yes, I did. Has gone bust, but the way Schmidt is still surviving. Dob- d- so okay, for you on that, I said the same thing. The only reason WH Smith survives is because they're in every airport airport terminal, they're in every train terminal, and um, people actually buy a lot of stuff from WH Smith, which is crazy. Like um, Top Shot. Oh, I do think they'll survive, but I feel like Dorothy Perkins, Wallace, and Evans will go. So it's not fighting in the club. Out. Hey, babes. Yes, I was fighting in the club. Um, it was, hold on, free versus free. Best believe we won. Period. Um, did police come? I got kicked out of the club. I got banned. It was just a crazy, like, they. he dragged my necklace off. Listen, best believe it was, it got down to it. But yeah, I got I got banned from the club for life. Oh, well. But they wouldn't recognize me now. <laughs> anyway, um, talk to the trainers, no earrings. Listen, when it comes to the fight, yeah, let, let me just let me just take out my earrings, take out everything, and we, we, we get the popping. Love the glam tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. He released a video claim he was abused as a child. What? Where you at, boo? Oh um 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 Kim, Bev's gone. She had um, an appointment tomorrow. Have you ever been arrested? I've never been arrested. No, never. Have I been arrested? No, never been arrested. Um, okay. <laughs> Let me, okay. Last question. Hey, Gary, love you so much. My parents want me to become a doctor, but I just don't have the passion to go into the medical field. They say if I don't want to continue down a profession, the dance profession path, I can't come home. I, I want to open up my own net. I want to open up my own nail salon, but I love my parents so much. What do I do? Mm, this is a hard one because do you have any savings and do you have anywhere else to go? Because if you don't, maybe being a doctor is long now. I can't be. I can't be doing ten educations of um ten years of education for being a doctor. But I don't. Maybe try and talk to them and maybe you can meet in the middle ground. And because. If you haven't got any nowhere to go, I wouldn't want you to become homeless over something that you can maybe work out. Have you asked him, Gary? For Dorothy Perkins, for my jam new days. Listen, after the um, Dorothy Perkins did a collaboration with the Kardashians, it never recovered. Not never recovered, but they didn't do the same. Um, I intrigued after school. No one buys stationery like that. <laughs> and Nell Salon can always come. The girls out here are fighting. Um, love your hat by the way. Thank you so much, Sherry. 
love 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 yourself first and live your own life live your dreams your parents understand i think get your degree then get 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 the puppy gets the puppy because if the nail salon doesn't work being a doctor is a, a huge accomplishment like being a doctor is no joke like you have so much responsibility and it's like such a good job but maybe get if, it depends how far you want your degree but if you're already doing it maybe stick at it um stay yeah stay in school Serena Williams does nails but listen I know a few people that um did nails but now do so much different jobs so like you can definitely have a side hustle um all he did was to flip the point that the finger back at her oh my god I need to read up more about this story hold on, let me just check my camera again okay okay we're doing good we're doing good with, with the battery um I feel like okay I feel like you gotta live your truth being in medical field. You gotta love it, especially being in the world the way it is. True. You should. True. There's so much ways you could be a doctor. If I would have another profession, I think I would want to be. Um, I was want to work in like I was want to work for a fashion magazine, or I was want to be a therapist. I. Oh my god, guys, guys, okay, guys. Who has, actually, who has watched what I'm doing? I know June's watched it. I know Bev has watched it. Don't do don't say any spoilers for anyone that hasn't watched it, but guys, who has watched it on doing? Wasn't it brilliant? Please. Did you watch it? Love that chess, Gary. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Have you guys watched it on doing? Please let me know before we get into um copping or dropping. You must have watched it on doing. It's important to get an education, but it's a lot of money to spend on school. True. That is very, very true. Has someone watched it on doing? would be a great fashion editor thank you i think i'll be such like you know devil west prada vibes you know get my fashion on did you like it you need to watch please guys don't post any spoilers but please watch the undoing so we can speak about it in the next sip and slay the undoing only f i watched it in a day and a half there's only six episodes hour long the cold kidsman hugh grant amazing so good not yet it's on my list not yet nope guys watch the undoing it's crazy so good so good no so many quit the pandemic um hey gary love your channel thank you oh, oh atrice oh my god i love your name it's so beautiful thank you so much atrice no not yet you should start doing fashion content on here i might do but when i, try, when I do fashion content guys it doesn't do well i feel like that's that's the thing i feel like also one of the things on youtube being a girl on youtube is so much more to your advantage because you can do like you know the pretty little thing hauls the zara hauls the fashion over hauls the um boohoo hauls you know but i'll try and do some more fashion on here i said what i'm doing on three episodes in babe it gets crazy no, but since you mentioned it in your vlog, I'm intrigued. Going to watch it, sis. Watch it. It's crazy. It's on um now TV. Um, sign up and get the trial, then cancel it after because you don't you won't you won't need the seven days. Um, Hugh Grant, yes, yes. It's on HBO. Yes, on HBO. Have you watched the Korean Gambit? No, I need to watch that. I need to watch. Okay, so we need to get onto copying or dropping because this super slay is going to be the longest. So it's about to be um two hours up in this beach. Okay. So let's do copying or dropping, which I'm excited for because I haven't looked on trend mood for a long time. So let's do are we copying or are we dropping? Okay, hold on. We're going trend mood. Are we copying or are we dropping? My favorite bit. So HBO, I would love to see you do fashion hauls. Thank you. I might try and do something like that. Also, if you guys have any Vlogmas ideas, let me know because I'm not sure how I'm going to do all this Vlogmas, guys. I, I'm not sure how I'm going to do all of it, but I'm going to try. Um, some men are breaking for the YouTube scene. I like the pack. What's the pack channel? Let me screenshot this. Hold on. I just screenshotted that. Uh, I just screenshotted it. I'm saying she's a saint because, hold on. I'm scared for scripture. Okay, let's go. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Surprise available now. Yeah. Oh, this, this looks amazing. Oh, I don't really like red lipsticks though. Okay, so are we copying or dropping the new Juvia's Place red or berries lipstick bolt? 
Hold on, we're we copying or dropping. Do you guys see that? Are we copying or dropping? This looks cute. Shit. Can you see? This is from Juvia's Place. And, um, my phone doesn't want to focus. Are we copying or are we dropping? She should release some new lipsticks. I think I'm getting this in PR. I actually got an email from her saying I'm getting something in PR. So if you guys want me to do a video on this lipstick collection, let me know. What did you guys say? Why don't you do fashion commentary on celebs red carpet? That's a good idea, actually. Video idea, Xmas tree setup that's coming tomorrow. Um, no, it's coming soon. Um, I was surprised. Black blogmas on a but ten products on the blogmas on a. Would you want to be beauty products or? Um, just vlog, miss anything. That's a good idea. Do some cooking. Okay. Pack is not around anymore. Love them to do some racism. I not really love them. Something to do racism. Sorry. So, guys, she's trying to read the comments. Okay. So, not, not, <laughs> everyone's saying drop, copying, um, drop, very, make me feel like a grandma. I'm not into red, but the holidays, please, Gary. Check, um, I checked. It's sold out. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm getting that maybe tomorrow. So, I'll definitely do a video on it. Um, okay, the next thing, are we getting the Mac Daddy um, Club Daddy collab with Static John? Um, are we um, are we getting that? Mm, looks cute though. Cop or drop? You guys, know who, you guys must know who Mac Daddy is. He's like jacket and his best friend. Lipsticks, Mac Daddy, my favorite lipstick, by the way. Mac, Mac lipsticks, yeah. Nope. Not interested. Drop, drop, drop. No, no. Ciao. Mm hmm. Okay. So let's go on to. <laughs> Are we copying or dropping the ColourPop Hello Kitty collection? Copying or are we dropping? Oh, can we see this? I think my phone is just too light. Okay, let me. That's it there. Copying or dropping the Hello Kitty ColourPop collection? Cop. Or drop. I definitely wouldn't get this. The palette for me, oh, you can't see it. I think it's my phone. Let me try and turn my brightness down. Yeah, that's better. Mm -hmm. It's a no for me. Drop, cop. I have it as I have a teenager. Oh, cop. What did someone say? That would have to be like playing makeup. Vlogmas, last minute Christmas gift ideas. That's a good one. Vlogmas ideas. What? Well, I blogmas idea trends we don't want to see in 2021. Blogmas idea trends. That's a that's an interesting one. I love my daddy will still cop. I get what you mean. I can't color pop definitely has hold on what did Kim say? Big loud drop. I don't want to Kim say I can't see a comment. Cop everyone say oh ashy ashy. Um color pop has the most releases ever. It's actually overwhelming. But um, okay, let's do one more, let's do a few more. Oh, this looks amazing. So Drunk Elephant have released a sweet bio-fermented sake spray. <gasps> so it replenishes healthy skin. It restores the skin's acid mantle. This is by Drunk Elephant. This looks amazing. Wow, hold on. This looks so cool. I really like Drunk Elephant as well. I think I would cop this. I would cop. What about you? Gary, much or much do I would love it. I can't wait for your makeup release though. Thank you. Um I can't wait to tell you guys more about it. Um it probably won't be until next year though, but you know, as soon as I know more, I'll let you guys know. Um Okay, basically I'm gonna ask you something. What do you guys think is missing from the makeup, like the makeup space? Just, just to say that out there, what do you guys think? Like, oh, I don't want to say too much. 
Mm, maybe this is for another video, but let me know. Like, do you think eyeshadow palettes are a dime of a dozen? Like, if you're going to do an eyeshadow, what colors would you do? Drunk Elephant is everything, but drop can't afford. Let me see how much it is. There's no price. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. The new Fenty Cream um, Gloss Bombs. I would cut this. There's one color in there. Look at them. So freaking cute. They're so nice. Like this color here. Oh, cop, cop. This one, this one. These are so pretty. I need, need, I need cookie jar. I need honey ruffles. Market research. I love it. We're going to catch up, boo. We're going to definitely catch up. A thousand. We need the queen collection back. Market cop, cop. A good bronzer, uh, sunscreen for melanated individuals. Um, can't afford. Hold on, drink elephant. Have you listened to Health Bar Podcast by Mr. Easy and his girlfriend Tammy? No, I haven't been listening to it. I've met Tammy a few times. She's really sweet, super sweet. Um, copping on Thursday, make cop, copping. We're, we're copping 50 50 wearing masks now. So, yeah, more deep shades for every makeup product out there. We support them to see us. Everyone's saying cut for this, okay. I love inky blue liquid liner, it's hard to find. Okay, it's interesting. Hmm, it's not the colors, it's the formula and the versatility missing from the BE. Yeah, this is true. This is very true. It's, it's dark skin friendly foundation and skincare. Really on support, don't OD on Fenty. True, really terracotta. Okay, that's what you mean about Okay, the next one. Okay. Are we are we copying the Alicia Keys Keys skincare skincare candle skincare roller and skincare transformation cream? Are we copying the candle, the moisturizer, the tool, and the cream? Okay. So the price. $30, $30 for the cream, $25 for the facial roller, $38 for the candle, and it doesn't say how much the toilet is. Are we copping or dropping? <laughs> I can't breathe. Guys, I can't breathe. The candle's more than the cream. <laughs> So it says the candle scent relaxes and restores and invites you to press reset and connect yourself. A skincare candle, and it says the cream exfoliates and improves the texture of radiance and calms and centers the spirit. How can a cream calm the spirit? I'm confused. Drop. No, no. I love skincare more than makeup, so no. What does she know about skin? Have you seen her skin? <laughs> Peace from not wasting my coin. Drop. Bish by. Drop. Someone needs to tell her brother that they are age two. Drop. No. Child. Gabby, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on. We'll do a few more. Um... Oh, this one. Okay, so I'll be copying the new Charlotte Tilbury palettes, but she's also released new shades of the flawless filter. So on the flawless filter now, there's more shades. <clears throat> copying or dropping? I would cop the, the the new shades of this because it's one of my favorite products ever. It's the flawless filter which is, which is, um, let me show you it. I've actually got it. Which is this, so pretty. Like it just gives your skin such a beautiful glow. That is what you guys say. So if you see the, kind of just gives the skin a nice glow. So nice, cop. 
Guys, if you never tried this by Charlotte Tilbury, the flawless filter, you need to try it. It's so good. So good. Like, it's like amazing. Not gonna lie. Um, cup, not enough French. <laughs> no, it's it's more of a tint, it's like a tinted primer. It's so good. I want her powder. The powder is the powder is top tier. Um, Lee Charlotte in her. <laughs> I wish it had a pump. I just bought a shade. I'm not sure how to use it. So you basically just use it as a highlighter. So you can use it on like the cheeks. It's better before foundation. Oh, what else is smart? It's better before foundation now. Charlotte, this, uh, guys, Charlotte Tilbury prices in America is crazy. But to be fair though, she's a luxury brand. The flawless filter is bomb and that's on period netter. Okay, so let's do... <laughs> okay let's do one i think you guys are all gonna want to cop and this is the new jlo beauty are we copying or are we dropping i think you guys are gonna want to cop this <laughs> are we copying or dropping jlo beauty so what she got in here she's got a um What is this? She's got JLo Serum, Wonder Cream, Complexion Booster, Face Mask. $48 for free sheet masks. Has she lost her mind? Nope. Kiss my teeth. <laughs> drop, 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 drop. Do not kill me. Oh, what my God, drop. Depends on the price, because pandemic. Take me to prison before I ever buy that. That's funny. <laughs> J-Lo, hell no. Oh, child girl. Okay, we're going to do one more. Hold on, did I reply, did I reply to House of Suliage? Okay, I need to check again. Okay. Actually, no, I did reply. Okay, let's do one more. <laughs> Child is late here, but okay. Let's do. Mm, mm, who is this? Okay, let's do. No, no. Try. What the. All the releases have been quite dry. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I literally can't find. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, let's do. Are we are we copying or dropping the new um, Urban Decay Hyaluronic Tinted Glow? Copping or dropping? I think when I was Urban Decay, we're dropping more complexion. <laughs> Cupping or dropping, guys. How much is this? $29. 12 shades. Oh, child. Gary, I thought J Lo said the price point is great. It's expensive. Esthetician. Every celebrity in the mall trying to get me put. Nope. Cupping. Okay, that me. Nope, I got that from Colourpop. I love the Colourpop one. Cup, okay, drop. Honestly, I'm so tired of I'm I'm so tired. If I hear hyaluronic acid one more time, and when when I, when, I, when brands put it in products anyway, it's a small percentage, so it it that looks good. Drop. We have enough. Drop, drop. I want it, guys. I've been that's the concealer I've gotten today, guys. This concealer, this concealer by Ever Decay. Oh my God, it's so good. I use a shade. 70 ny banging if you look at the, the applicator is so good like the concealer is just so amazing what did house of celia the oh hey oh do you guys know how Ciliage is <clears throat> so how Ciliage reached out to me because they wanted to send me some fragrances but i'm trying to think if i replied to them on i can't remember but um i think they, they reached out to me because i've done um 
a live with Kelsey. So um, I think I replied, I'm not sure. You guys know of them? Do you say t- the 12 shade? Also guys, um, Jackie Ina's candles should be arriving any day. Do you guys want a review of them? Yay or nay? Let me know when I do a video on them because this is the Sten Moods Collection. I'm not gonna lie. I know she's a new business, so I'm not gonna do anything, but I know they did take very long to come. That's the only thing I will say. So, but I do know when I ordered them, she did move into the next factory. So I ordered them the start of October, but um, she's a new business and I do know she moved into a new factory. So if you are ordering them, you should get them a bit more faster now she's in a new factory. The package over the case, great. That's, I can get hydro, hydro acid from Dollar Tree in USA. Oh yes, oh yes, Gary tried them. Oh, cute. Yay, yay, yes. To you so guys we have come to the end of sip and slay oh, i'm so sad this sip and slay was so much fun um, <laughs> don't kill me guys i had so much fun cupcakes perfume is really good they cost 500 each for the house of city arch really no way i need to email them so guys we've come to the end of sip and slay do not forget to tune into the blogs. Um, I'll be doing giveaways on the blogs. Um, I've got a really big one um, with the blogs uh, where you guys can win something amazing. Um, so yes, it, this was the, uh, it's the hat for me. Thank you guys so much for joining the Sip and Slay. I'll see you at and Gary at Plastic Work. Kim, I'll try them. I message you. Thank you all for joining. It's been the most amazing Sip and Slay. Obviously, this has been gone on for two hours and 11 minutes crazy i would never i think this is one of the most longest different slaves i've done um I see, it was so much fun it's always so good hanging with you guys um i think next week's one will be live also but i'm gonna have a guest which should be very exciting because i've never had a guest on sip and slay and i think you guys will like the person i'm bringing on so um next week's we'll have a guest and um the week after is my birthday so i'm gonna be on sip and slay for my birthday so we can celebrate my birthday together on sip and slay so um um yes please dm me if you guys have any questions about any makeup products or anything i've enjoyed today thank you so much please thumbs up the video and after the sip and slay is posted please comment on it if you can if you want to subscribe please um you know subscribe i love you guys so much have a great night if you have any more questions please dm me on instagram or um twitter i'm on twitter i'm on every social platform so yeah bye guys so much fun i love you guys so much thank you kim thank you bev thank you june Thank you, Ria. Thank you, Feli. Thank you, June. Thank you, Kim. Love you all. Thank you so much for joining. Please like the video after it's posted. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Sherry. Bye, Sabina. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.